What's up everybody? My name is Ken, also known as MC Wei. You might know me from things like SICK and my rap stuff, but um, I digress. Welcome to Sonus Factorum, which is a game of Dungeons and Dragons me and my friends play. First of all, just know that uh, this is us just having fun, okay? Uh, we uh, might fuck up some rules, we might fuck up some lore consistencies, names and all that stuff. Uh, we also might get into some technical difficulties, you know, whenever you streaming D&D on a budget, you might get a lot of this kind of stuff. So uh, I hope that you can also forgive us for all that. Uh, next is, uh, this is not a very kid-friendly show, so... Yeah... So for this first episode, it's going to be the worst one because there's technical difficulties everywhere. I even started recording halfway through because the early parts kind of got corrupted a bit. I'll also be editing this uh, episode, so I'll leave in some notes and some voice notes as well into what's happening or if there got any cuts or you know stuff that might be confusing, so I'll just add them in. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the first episode of Sonus Factorum. <laughs> First place to go to to uh, search for something that I have not seen yet because I am not from this place and it's also my first time here. I've decided to pay this place a visit. Um, so me as a weary traveler from a uh, quite far away, I would say, um, came here and uh, the first thing I want to do is look for a very. Uh, Look for the uh, what's the name again? Waterdeep. Waterdeep. Uh, first thing I wanna do is look for Waterdeep's uh, main great library, and um, yeah. So that's that's what I'm doing here. First, first of all, yeah, very simple. Okay, I thought of it. Uh, I am a rogue of Elvish descendant, and I came from. Okay, let me find a random city over here. Never winter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I came from that place. Uh, I was uh, I was an elf who was very devoted in church. It was a religious place. And I realized that it's... The church is as corrupted as... As, as you know, as other churches. It's the church is not a very, it's not often uh, the most clean place, and if you want to do good, you need to act instead of promoting it. So I came to uh, where's this place again? Water water, water, deep. water deep to be a rogue, but I have different ideals as a rogue. I only steal from the evil. Mm. Therefore, I'm here so that I can promote and get out of my place that people keep brainwashing me that I have to stay there and I just got up. I just get out of there. Just mm. yeet. So that, that, that was my story. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
So, this is the different intent of what they want and individually looking for what they have to, to feel fulfilled and what they need. Yeah. Yes. Um, Malachi, you reached you reached um, the the cerebral library, which is the biggest library in Waterdeep. Actually, very well known. If those who know know people, it's one of the biggest ones in Faerun. Mm -hmm. As they as you approached um, the entrance, they denied access because you. Um, didn't have the right credentials to come in. They told you that you needed to be part of a high guild at least to get through. Even military, if you wanted to, but you didn't have the right credentials and they turned you away. Okay. He doesn't have the last name. Huh? It's because he doesn't have the last name. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, so, feeling bitter, uh, a local um, tavern um, caught your eye as the sun slowly sets. Okay. Uh, may um, I know the name of the tavern? Uh, the Watering Hole. Watering Hole? Yes. Okay. As for... Uh, Ricola. Um, so, coming to the town and also being a first time here, am I right? Yeah. First time in the big city. Oh, no. A lot of things um, catch your eye and also scares you at the same time. Um, you, what are you looking for as of now? As the sun slightly sets, you can see the red coloration of the sky, the people slowly closing shop. The city um, escapes bu uh, hustling and bustling, everyone's in their carts, going away, going from one place to another, streets filled with people. What would you like to do at this point? I would say I would use the money that I have to find a safe place to stay. Safe place to stay. Mm. Okay. Um, roll for a perception check, please. Let's roll three. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, yeah. Just one, one, one set. From the D what D what twenty D twenty. The oh, oh, don't, don't don't shame them. This is your first time. Okay, oh gosh. Are you special? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Please. Oh me. She's oh. cute. Give her a chance. Please, man. This is my first time playing. I only know like. D twenty. It's forty. It's four. Four. Are you proficient in perception? Yes. So plus your perception, your proficiency. Bonus. I'm like. It's okay. We're learning. Together. Oh, plus three. Plus three, yeah. Okay, and then you know it uses your wisdom, um, wisdom modifier. So plus your wisdom modifier as well. Plus two. So four plus three, seven. Seven plus two, nine. Okay, okay. with the nine, I would say that um, you are a high elf, and you've never really experienced going out of your comfort zone to search for things. Mm -hmm. So the signs. Were all or some you, you you catch a few signs that were interesting, but they weren't in the language that you spoke or read. Um, as you were going through this place trying to look for a place to stay, um, carts and people rush by, slowly pushing you around. Okay, not not um, caring if you were a high person or a low person, because they were just bustling around trying to get from one place. Hey, watch it! Just pushing you around, and you come to the city center, waterfall. I mean, sorry, uh, fountain, water fountain in the center. Circular water fountain. The water shoots up from the center. There is a beautiful mermaid uh, lady um, with a vase, and the water starts out from the vase into the water, creating the fountain. Around is cobblestone, but you can see that the floor is just a mess because there was a market that happened just now, and right now everyone's closing the shop, so that's why it's a little bit more empty. You're, you pass that this area and you still look for the place to stay. The local tavern catches your eye, the watering hole. Um, 
the one thing that was spelled in common was uh, discount for travelers, Woo. bed and breakfast. Woo. Yeah, okay. So okay. That caught your eye. Okay. Discount. This so, <laughs> discount. Well said. Um, let's get back to um, Malachi. Uh, you enter the watering hole, and you can see the place filled with people. Everyone is just having their own time. You can see people of all sorts of heights, um, weights, class, builds, races, classes, everyone's there. And this establishment isn't big, but I wouldn't also call it a small establishment as you see there is, it is adorned with um, sigils and um, uh, the water deep crescent of the certain factions that they join. This faction is blue. Um, it has uh, three claws coming out, lo almost looking like. Uh, sorry, it has three stars. It is a uh, red in color, and the stars are in grayish. And everyone is just. You can see uh, there the barmaid and the, the the waiter just going back and forth to serve uh, things. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get to you real quick. Um, um, uh, Albert, uh, one more, one more set of that, just whatever it was just now. And then you hear, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, I don't have four arms. And then the barmaid goes around quietly just distributing drinks. Um, that is the, that is what you see as you enter. Um, is there a table that's empty here, by? Preferably, uh, oh, okay. Sixteen plus Damn. three nineteen. Damn. Nineteen? Nineteen. Are you proficient in perception? No. Oh, you're not. Okay. So it's nineteen. Nineteen is fucking high. Um, with a nineteen, um, you see there is one table that is uh, not occupied. Um, I would say that with a perception of nineteen, you notice there are about sixteen tables on the floor, and the bar is about um, twenty feet long. And a little, enough, another five feet to fit maybe two or three people if you really squeeze. Um, there is one table which is unoccupied, but the table is just filled with unwashed plates, and you can see flies just. Mm, There's no other it's table. With green liquid. You know, God knows what it is. No other table. However, the bar is re relatively quite open. It's just the tables are very occupied. Oh, the, the, the bars, the bar is quite open. You see, with a perception of 19, you see um, a hooded figure with a bow um, attached to his or her back. Um, and then at the end, way end on the other side, there is a greenish, huge, brutish woman with a mohawk of red color. Sheesh. With, um, adorned with uh, tattered leather or cotton or skin hide that you've seems it's to be a mismatch of clothing. Uh, and she seems to be the loudest one and she's drinking right next to a short orange bearded and bald dwarf in full armor and they are just like arguing it seems and then uh, there is a halfling on the other side uh, maybe two seats right next to the person with the hood a halfling modest clothes nothing much having a, a sip and you can see an empty plate um, bartender cut, cut, um, or the cook, you are not sure because right now there's nobody. But the bartender opens the, the, the door and he says, that, Here's the truss that you asked for. And then uh, I said, like, This one's for table seven. And then uh, this, um, this large human, full black, curly, almost like an afro hair. And you can see the curly beard just trying to grow up but haven't shaped it yet. It's a scruff. Um, apron, messy. And then the rest seems to be normal clothes, boots. I know this is you, and uh, and then he he does, <laughs> and um, the 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 waiter ah, then he's like then he points points at you, and he goes back into the kitchen. He's like right right, and uh, here, here you go sir, and he's like be with you one minute, take a seat, and then he goes around there. Uh, okay, I'll approach the bar. Uh, there are seats around the bar, right? Okay. There is five seats between you, uh, between the, 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 the hooded figure, 
and the orc and dwarf. There's another two seats uh, between the drop, the, the, the hooded figure and the, the half leaf. I'll take the a, right I'll take a two seats to the right of the hooded figure. Okay. So do you sit next to the half or do you sit next to the right to the right of the hooded figure? Hooded figure. Two, two seats. Two seats. So you sit now. Um, and then the um, at this point, um, Ricola, you come in to see the same thing that he does. Uh -huh. It's very rowdy. Everyone's shouting. All the tables are occupied. Uh, what would you like to do? I... Hmm. Sorry if I'm acting like Matthew Mercer. Uh, that's the only show I watch. <laughs> okay. uh, have I found a place to, to, to stay yet? I found a discounted place. Already. Oh, right, right, right. So, so uh, as you come to the, you, you see to your left, that's where the bar is. And on the right, you can see there is a staircase that goes up, but they share the same counter. And right now, the counter is not being um, attended by anyone. You see bartenders and the bar is going left and right. Wait, is the bar and the hotel yes. thingy? Yes, that is it's a tavern. Like, it's like a combined yes. thing? Oh, that is okay. Why oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, okay. Hmm, what do I do? I guess I will sit down and order a drink while I wait for someone Where do you sit? to attend to the counter. Oh gosh, let me think. Where do I sit? There's one seat between a halfling and a wizard. I'm sorry, um, I apologize. Please describe how your wizard looks like. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, Nalakai. Um, so I have a uh, fairly long hair, but not too long. Something like what I have right now. But a bit uh, like my front curls off at the end. Uh, I have dark black hair, jet black hair literally. and. Um, uh, I wear a, uh, uh, you could say, like uh, my outfit's kind of mismatched, like it's what a warlock should be wearing, but my wizard is wearing it because like I look very dark. Yeah, my outfit's really dark, and I'm wearing, uh, it's, it's some sort of a. Uh, that, like, that I, have, I have a vest, like a, uh, so it's a black vest and a long, uh, long, uh, long suit that drapes all like the way to the bottom. with a penguin kind of uh, Yeah, something like that, you know, it drapes all the way to, it drapes all the way down, like a, uh, like how a warlock would wear it. Yeah. And I have a, I have a chain attached to my right pocket. Near my head. Um, my collar is my collar is a, a little bit long, but it, I fold it to look like this lah. Okay, and uh, I have a V. It's a V neck, and uh, it's a long sleeve shirt as well. And yeah, that's about it. Also, uh, I'm kind of thin. I'm about almost six feet. Uh, you wear a hat? No, no hat. Oh. Yeah. You're a wizard, but you don't wear a hat. I'm not Gandalf. <laughs> 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 uh, I okay, have a. In the other dimension. Let's shoot! Who? Someone go. Uh, I have a nose ring on my scepter. Ew. And then I have a <laughs> I I eyebrow ring. I guess you could say. Ah. And. My eye, my eyes are. If you look at it from afar, it, look, it looks a little bit red. But you get closer, it's actually uh, light brown. Yeah, it's a little bit of an energy. Mm -hmm. So you work in a piercing shop, and you also <laughs> put on contact uh, lenses. I work in um, <laughs> a fun <pizza> tattoo. Pizza <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout, shout out to Pete. <laughs> Yeah. Vivia, I give you free PR. <laughs> oh gosh. I'll just sit near this guy, I guess. So you. Because he button, looks smart. You put your button. Sheesh. He looks wiser, it's so. The nose ring. Maybe yeah. I can trust him. I guess. You approach, and right as you approach, um, you see a spiky haired, brown haired 
very young man, short. He kind of stands on like a a, a little platform, and uh, he comes and says, "Hey, I'm so sorry. Um, can, can, can I get your order? Give me your finest lager, please." Okay. Um, we have two types. We have Bombok and Saint Bernard. Uh, how much for the Saint Bernard? Uh, it's only um, one silver. One silver. Yeah, uh, Bombok is the same price. Okay. Um, just give me whatever on tap. Huh? Okay. Um, um, Bombok it is. Bombok it is. Okay. And then uh, to eat? I'll just have. Um, question DM. Yes. Uh, you all got toast, right? They got toast, right? Toast everywhere, got right? The most common is toast. Okay, I don't know. Okay, yeah, maybe from, this universe no good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you say prata? Oh, prata, got toast. Kuat jambo. Kuat pengje. Ah, one of your finest toast, please. Okay, thank you. Alright. Uh, just as he leaves with the order, you take a seat. You feel the seat right next to you. It's down. You are between a halfling on your right, and on your left you see this figure. This guy, yeah. So yeah. she sits right beside me. Yeah. On my left. Yes. Oh, sorry, on your right. On my the, right. The hooded figure is on your left. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay. Mm. The hooded figure is seems to have finished the meal, and is having a very tall, skinny glass. And it's just filled with this yellow liquid. Mm. Just looking at you. She just look at it, drink. Yeah, she, uh, she, it, um, perception. Bro, perception. Nineteen plus perception plus three. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. What? It's a she. It's a she. You see the white hair. The white hair. Down, and then after she takes a the drink, you can see that her skin is purplish. Purplish. Really dark. Can, can I know what uh race is she? Okay, with a with a fucking twenty-two. Yeah. Fucking, it's a drought. It's a what? Dark elf. Dark elf. Sheesh. Damn it. <laughs> takes a sip from, takes a sip from what you know is now champagne. Champagne. Sheesh. I have the same skin color. You don't. You're a high elf. Uh, She's a dark elf. You are like you are fair. High elves are almost white. I look at you, right? I go blind because you're so beautiful. Okay. Okay. Is there anything you would like to do at this point? Order a drink. Okay, right as you think that, um, you see the short a human with this uh, uh, spiky hair uh, looks up, looks at you for a moment, breaks eye contact, but then suddenly looks back at you, takes a U turn, and then it's like, sorry, um, searches pockets. Um, can, sorry, miss, uh, can I get your order? Lime juice. Juice? Lime juice. Lime juice, Do okay. You have it? And the E? Food is there. Wait, what food is there? Um, we have all sorts of meats. Uh, we have the vegetarian uh, uh, course as well. Um, we have uh, breads. Do you have mushroom soup? Uh, uh, we, we have a soup. Um, it's not mushroom though. It's uh, tomato. Tomato it is. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I got you. Thanks. And then you hear someone say, "Hey." Um, trash wall! Get the fucking guy in here! Uh, alright, alright, I'll, I'll get this in real quick. And he tears the paper, goes in the back. Commotion. And then everyone's still having doing the thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, what, what do I do? What do we do? Oh. Oh. Do you want to do anything? Um, can I look to the left of the, to, of the hooded figure? Okay. Uh, what, what's the race called again? Drow. How spell? D R O W. I know it's a draw, right? Yeah. Uh, usually this race uh, very far away. F- they they are far. They they are from a very far away. They're place, right? exiled by elves. All elves. They're all exiled elves. By all elves. Are they pretty common in water? Deep, wa- water deep? Yes, actually. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So like people, I mean, sixty water deep is kind of accepting, but also kind of racist at the same time. Mm-hmm. The it's the extremes of both. They have super extremist groups that support drows, there are drows, and they have drows in the freaking lordships that run the city. But there are also like big groups of that that are anti drows, like anti orcs, like anti humans. Uh. Uh, so so Waterdeep is it, pretty yeah. much the center of everything. Everything is going on. Yeah. Yeah, it's America. It's not the biggest city by the way. It's just 
it seems to be more, most happening because this port is very um, strategic in oh, terms of Oh, uh, yeah, it's Penang maybe. Oh, but Penang. I mean, if Penang was KL, yeah. Okay, that's it. So she's holding a glass of champagne. Is she drinking? She just took a sip. That's how you notice the skin color. If not, her hands would have been inside the hood. Ah, I see. So she has a bowl. Bowl. Okay. And then she's covering her With face. With a perception of 22, right? This bowl is not your average bowl. It's the, 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 the wooden part. It's actually a dragon. Ah. And she's, she's hooded herself, Hood. right? Trying to cover her up and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I look over to her. And you hear this, by the way. Yeah, you know this. Why cover yourself with a hood? There is no need to do that in water deep, right? Or am I wrong? Just like everywhere else. And then I just take a step back and I just pull my seat in a bit. And I expect a reply. Wait, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the draw. The draw guy? Me? Okay. Yeah, right. she's here. You're actually here. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay we'll, 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 we'll switch it then. Okay. Switch it and the draw the other side. The coupling will be next to you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So the draw is there. Yeah. Um, you see the draw. Um, take a deep breath, come down. And then uh, the draw just kind of slope. turns in your direction, but then the white hair, the long, like very shiny hair, kind of picks up, but you cannot see the eyes. But you can see that uh, this uh, person is trying to also reply to you. And she says, and I guess a human of your nature is not common in these parts. Nah, it's away again. Oh. So it's done away again. Um, you can butt in at any time. Just in if you want to, as your character, you want to butt in, just do it. Don't even ask yeah, yeah, it is yeah. console. I'm just spying on them. Okay. Actually, I'm just listening, eavesdropping, and just. D and D Waiting. rules only apply if there's combat. No combat, then no rules. <laughs> Do whatever the fuck you want. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Whereabouts are you from? I'm sure you are not from Waterdeep with that bow you have. Uh, you see the person turn again. Same uh, cadence and uh, the way she carries herself. Okay. You ask a lot of questions, traveler. I am just looking for a place and a person to talk to. I am very lonely. This is my first time in Waterdeep. What is your wisdom score? Uh, per, uh, sorry, your wisdom uh, 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 modifier. Plus three. Oh, okay. Then you can tell that this person glows in this energy as if the person just casted a spell. But you don't know its effects. You just know that the person cast the spell. Okay. <laughs> I would suggest you... Keep your own back. As they say. I do love myself some this too. May I ask you... A few things. I, are you familiar with what to do? You ask a lot of questions. Yes, I do. And I'm asking you this one more question. Just answer me one more question. And I will bother you no longer. As you say that, as she takes a deep breath and you say that, that question, she holds the sigh that was about to come up. I'm from up north, high, wood, um, high woods. Have you been there? Um, <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would say that, um, how old is your character? Uh, I would say around 32. 32, okay. Yeah. Um, how long has he been traveling? He's been traveling for f past 6 years. Six years. Six years. He could have, could have, depending on where he's from. Is he from north or south? south? If he's from south, maybe no. Uh, if he's from north, then maybe yes. Let me show you. For the name. sake of law and narration okay. and yes. con for the sake of the, con for, of the story, la, I'll say no. Yeah, I'll see. The okay. spine of the one. Ah, the high force. Ah, this is the high force. Right? Ah, this yeah. is where everyone what smokes weed. <laughs> okay, so you will say no, lah. I'll say no here. Yeah. Consider. 
then I would urge you to not go there. Why is that? Humans are not wealthy. Stay in water deep. Get whatever money that you humans always crave. And be on your way. What's the name of the world again? Uh, Foran, mm. right? Faren. Faren. Faren is not very friendly for any race in this world. So I would urge you that whatever warning that you tell me, I might not heed. In fact, it may just spark an interest in you to enter the high forest. Right as this hap- you say that, um, your drink and your toast comes. But talk, the talk. And maybe you talk. Gets your, your uh, lime juice. Thanks. And did you order anything to eat? Yeah, soup. Yeah, the tomato soup comes. Then it goes up. You see this um, cloak cl- figure straightens their back. It says, you humans have all the privilege in the world, and you act as if the world is treating you unfair. Well, prejudice isn't exactly racist, is it? Now that she turned her full face to you, not full face, but half, now you can see yellow eyes. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, and then she has eye contact with you with one eye, the other eye is covered by her silver hair. And you see this eye too. And then she says, Then she, you can see a little smoke comes out of her face. She downs her champagne, puts a glass daintily on the table. And then she nods at the drink, turns the seat, and makes her Drinking. It's kind of terrible. It's like this. It's kind of bad. Do I hear this? You hear her slurping. You hear her slurping. Bomb I'm already trying Bomb to be is, uh, sour with a little bitter aftertaste of, um, I would say, chocolate. Very reminiscent of what chocolate is. Does, does chocolate exist in this book? Yeah, yeah. Cocoa. So if you're into it, that's the drink. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, that tastes arrogant, man. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> yeah, arrogant. Terrible. Don't can I can I eavesdrop who what this table saying? Oh um okay so um you are kind of at the corner. If you were to point at a, a table, which is where I am, in front of you, um you can. There's a table there with um a couple of human figures in semi metal and leather. Semi metal leather. And um, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. <laughs> hey, no way. So far, I've been rolling pretty good. Yeah. Okay. 16. Ooh. 16. Plus, plus, plus. Plus, what? Proficiency bonus? Proficiency and your wisdom modifier. 9, uh, 19, and. Wisdom. Where is wisdom? Plus 2. Sheesh! You want to fuck it? You all be rolling roll. pretty good! Yay. You see later the uh, combat we won't roll this. Oh, <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. Don't please, no, please, no. Oh gosh. Oh okay. gosh. Okay, with a uh, twenty-one. Okay. Um, you hear them. Uh, one of them say, um, "Man, Regal's about to get fucking married, bro. We gotta go all out in it." And then it's like, "Ah, man, don't don't say that." And then the other, there was a, there was a female there. It's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta give him like some kind of like a bachelor party. We gotta have we gotta have him." Fuck a tiefling or something, then I was ah ha ha, that would be sick, that would be sick. It's like, yeah, man, I heard tieflings, man, their pussies are strange, man. They got all sorts of ribs in it. Like, you ever, like, masturbated with a pizza? It's like, hey, man, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And then they, they're just having this conversation of, uh, so basically the conversation, Regal's getting married and everyone's just teasing him. So who's Regal? Uh, Regal is, uh, you see this guy, mostly adorned. His, his uh, leather clothing seems to be embroidered with some sort of silver thread. As opposed to them, they don't have this. Opposed to the other yeah. people. So um, Regal oh. is the short haired blonde person. Very short, like uh, curly but short. If he grew up any longer, it would be an afro. So he, cut, he keeps it short. Okay. Uh, or an afro. Everyone's kind of like dark hair. Um, oh, so the, everyone else is his friend? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have a big jug of yellow liquid just sloshing as they have a couple of cups inside also he is sloshing with yellow liquid. Meaning beer. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> with the twenty-one, you know that's not beer. That's liquor. Liquor. That's oh, hard liquor. Shit. 
Okay, well, wait, yeah, what? That's not him. It's not no foam. Why so. does he look different from the other people? Okay, with the perception of 21, he's an important person. Like, he's a higher rank of whatever... Um, since it's your first time here, you have no idea what the hierarchy is. But he seems to be on a higher rank. They seem to have to be like soldiers or some sort. Of some sort. Oh, what's their race again? Uh, they're, they're mostly humans. The, the woman is halfling. Everyone is human. Oh, wait. Woman? Which woman? This uh, woman, she seems to be in like a leather skull cap. And she's short. She's the one that says that. Uh, you gotta get in a bachelor party. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, I get it now. Okay. I'm just gonna look at them. Okay. <laughs> That's the dice tower. What? Can we see the dice tower in the how did you? Yeah, we see the dice tower, holy shit! <laughs> zoom in the dice, zoom in the dice. How did you see? Oh yeah. Okay. What? Okay. okay. Go on. Uh, where was I? Uh, both of you are busy eating your toast. You're near to me. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> eavesdrop, eavesdrop. At, okay, at this, done. At this, point, at this point, the halfling takes his leave. Comes down. Slowly takes his leave. Okay. Slowly goes out the front door. Are you tipsy? Oh yeah. Very like good. the halfling from here? The halfling from your side. Okay. Comes up on his thing. Staggers. And then right at this point, um, there's this human, the human comes back. Whew. Oh. Hey guys, is everything alright? Um, uh, I can get yeah, I can get you anything else. Um, I'm sorry, we're pretty busy. Yeah. Mm. I, are you, did you guys, uh, are you guys together or something? No, we, I do not know who is this person. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry for appearing. Uh, I was just Some, keep your assumptions to yourself. The cook comes out, grabs him by the neck, throws him inside. Go do your job! Then Albert. And he's like, This is my establishment. It's good to meet a few travelers. Um, you have a very nice establishment. Thank you! Not just, not just, <laughs> not just this place. We've got a good place. We've got a discount right now that you can stay at. Uh, what What would be your rate for a traveler, like me? Ah, okay. so normally we go for one gold, which honestly, that takes everything out. Nobody wants to pay one gold. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't. I don't want to pay one gold. We go at two silver. Two silver. Yes, and especially for your kind, I have an eye for this. Fuck whatever they think, I have this thing. So you, both of you can stay here for two silver. One silver. Can I do one silver? Pro persuasion check. Suck it on that skinny dick. I let him do all the talking and I'm just... <laughs> 12. 12? Total? Pass everything up? 12. 12. Okay. Yeah. And this is like... Ah... You're not the first to come here with prices like that. But I do apologize. We do have a quota to pay up. So I am lowering this just for travelers, just so more people can come in. I mean, two, two silver is a very good price for Eddie. I will not find a better tavern in, uh, in Waterdeep, right? Ah! You're pulling on my ball sack. But I like it. Of course you would like it. I would pull it even harder. Mister. That was very strange of you to say. <laughs> and he looks at you. Mister. Can I get the guy on the counter now? I am the man at the counter. So I want to book a room to stay up there. Here's two silver. Very well. Cost two. Key comes up. Bum. Make sure you give the key back. It's a little expensive to fucking make uh, copies out here. Gotta go. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I gotta walk. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> you need to go. You need to go. Uh, I'll just go up to my room. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, no Are you role playing? I thought you needed to go. <laughs> oh no, I just, I just, I need to go. I tried to reach for her, but she. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait, where's the where's the room? Uh, is it is it matter? You can decide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I just, just pretend that and I just so walk you away. So this person just, just walk, away. walk away. Yeah, I pretend that I'm just not there and just walk away. Very peculiar. So to silver. Um, 
Are you sure you cannot do one silver for me? <laughs> Look at me. I am not a rich high elf like that person. If you can give me one silver... Alright, what about this? I wave the fee of your, your food. But it's still too silver for the room. Deal. Very well. Then what about her? She did not pay. I paid two silver. Oh, yeah, she, she paid for her room, but she did not she pay in for her whatever she drank. Well, oh, wait. You <laughs> got Well, she's upstairs now. <laughs> well, um, it's your I establishment. I... Alright, as a favor, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, go, I'll, I'll go talk to her. I'll say what she can do. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Uh, it's strange you? for, for Trustwall to ask her because he's like a pussy. Uh, he looks like a honest. bird. Honestly. Ah. Alright, well, what room was it? What, what room? What room? What room? What room? What room? Three zero four. Three zero four. Okay. Thank you. Um, what's my room? Uh, your, yours. Uh, and then it's like, um, then it's like. Two zero. So you throw it, and he he cops it. Uh, three zero three. Ooh, wow, what does that mean? Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, thank you. I guess. No problem. In the morning, you will see my wife, uh, Brigida. Is she a sight to see? Well, she has ups and downs. Let's be honest. Um, <laughs> but she will. If you wake up in the morning, you will see her. I am more like the nightman. I have my jobs to do in the morning. So uh, if you do see her, um, you speak. Um, you speak Dwarvish. Oh uh, no, no I do not. Ah, that's such a shame. But if not, you can tell her uh Fort Bla. Fort Bla. Fort Bla. What is Fort Bla? Ah. <laughs> Just tell her and you she uh, she'll she will take care of you in the morning. I hope I do not get sexually harassed, but well, thank you very much. Alright, I'll make my leave. I chug the rest of my beer and um, I have eaten toast and I just walk out. Okay. So you walk out. Yeah, so walk um, I'm gonna go back to you. Um, yeah, I go back to my room. Ricola one time. Yeah, Ricola one time. Okay, so you reach the room. I reach the room. Uh -huh. You take the key and you open. Kind of rusty, but it opens with a little bit of fault, faulty. And the door creep open. And you can see wardrobe, bed, balcony, I mean window. That is as much as you see. There is no chair, there is no other stuff. There's a wardrobe, and there is a bed. Very small. Can but I it's check? Cozy. It's really sick. Can I check to see if someone's gonna spy on me potentially? Like there's a hole somewhere? Roll for perception. Or do you want to use investigation? Or do you want to use investigation? Investigation. Perception or investigation? In Whatever is the highest. Oh no! Where's my investigation? I didn't put investigation. Shit. Why did I put intimidation? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just scarier. Uh, I'll go with. I'll go with perception. 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 Okay. Yeah. D twenty. Sorry. Twelve. Twelve plus. Perception. Twelve plus proficiency, right? What's yours? Yeah, this one. I have extra point. Ooh. So do I plus one? <coughs> do I? I have an extra point for perception. Oh uh, yeah, her perception is the double. So oh. it's like the double. double. Yeah. So plus two, two of your proficiency. So your proficiency three, plus six. Oh, plus six. So it's twelve. And plus, plus your wisdom score. Also, wisdom uh, modifier. So twelve plus six. Plus and why, why weren't you? Why did you plus that just now? I forgot. Oh, man, okay, okay, you would have gotten so much I, better. I don't know. Okay. So next time you just double, let me know. Okay, I have double for perception every time. So roll plus six plus your wisdom modifier. Oh shit! Twelve plus six, eighteen plus wisdom modifier. Two. Where was I? Twenty. Twenty. Sheesh! Are you fucking serious? Sheesh. Okay. Um, so right now, um, there is only one window. Um, look around. There are no holes to, for people to spy on you unless you count the people, which is way too small for average normal person to go through. The window, the window can be closed with the blinds. 
If you close it, no one can spy on you. Mm-hmm. But as you look out the window, it's one floor on top. So unless you're talking about like six houses in front, and someone's going to use a fucking uh, telescope. magnifying yeah, magnif- uh, f- telescope to fucking go through and just look at you. Just if you're assassinated, you could be. But no one's gonna. You know that no one's gonna go through that trouble just to fucking go through this, knowing your location and just fucking sniping you. That's almost impossible. I see. Yeah. Okay. You look out the window and you can see the uh, the carts and everyone just pass by. You I open see. your closet. A couple of flies run out, but a couple of moths, but nothing much. Can I check your toilet? Uh, you don't have a private toilet. You have a shared toilet. Damn it! Where's the shared toilet? So you go out to the shared toilet. The shared toilet, um, it's got your basic bath, um, okay. your wooden soak, and they have a little shower for you to just pour water while the water drains out. There is a, a wooden kind of like make for you to just sit down and soak your water, right? And then you can see a sign there that seems to like in in paper that's been slightly. Uh, stained by the water and says that please do not take too long in common huh okay 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 so I need to what where, where's the shared toilet is it like on the about same maybe three rooms because right now you're on four you need to go to three two one and then you reach the toilet oh yeah. I see and okay. then before you reach it and the, at the doorstep there's uh, um, five six seven eight and then there's the staircase there is another one that goes up but don't really need to go to that. There's another staircase that goes up. So it's like a two story. Oh, what's on top? Can you I go, go there? Okay, so uh, you, you want to go dot up? I'm going to hit you there first. Okay. Um, Malachi. Okay. As you finish your food and go up, you meet her at the staircase. Oh, uh, finally I stop her and like, oh, hey, um, I'm Malachi. Um, okay, it's very simple. The uh, tavern dude, he uh, told me that I would get it cheaper if I just told you that you didn't pay for your food. You didn't pay for your food. Oh gosh. Yeah, your lime juice or whatever that oh you were drinking. God. Yeah, that, that's, that's not enough. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to pay it or do I have to pay for you? No, I should. Because okay. I am I'll dirt broke. I'll pay it. I'll pay it. Okay. I hope so. Okay, so um, where are you going? I. It's none of your business. I hope my. I definitely my business that you go down and pay it, could. But I'm mm. not going to get that discount. Are you okay? Do you need money? Are you going to give me money? Are you at a very broke state? <laughs> 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 um, why would you say that? That's very peculiar to ask. It's obvious. Do I look broke? You sound broke. I sound broke. If I told you that I am broke, would you give me money? If I have any extra and I see you on the way? Do I look like a beggar to you of some sort? From your hair, yes. From my hair, yes. It doesn't make sense to me that a high elf is wandering around in a tavern called the Watering Hole. I don't owe you an explanation. You don't owe me an explanation. Okay. Uh, to, uh, you can see the person that you were spying on, right? Um, uh, you were eavesdropping on. You can see that the halfling is kind of pampering uh, this blonde individual that you know who is... Um, Maldives is a country. <laughs> yeah, Ma- Ma- Maldiva, Ma- Maldiva. Um, the, the guy who was giving a bachelor party. 
Is it I the know? halfling or the other girl? Another girl. The halfling. The halfling. halfling. Okay. Do I know uh, she's a rogue? Huh? Do I know she's a rogue? No, you don't. Um, uh, I would say rogue in investigation. Investigation is uh, your intelligence score. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, you yeah. Shit. He's gonna find plus out. Plus three, eighteen. You see the two daggers. You see the sword, short sword. Biatch. You see. Okay, you okay. But at this biatch. point, at this point, oh damn it. She could either be a fighter, or because she had the short bow as well. Am I more uh, sure that she's a rogue? Kind of obvious. Kind of obvious. Kind of obvious. Oh no no no! Hold on hold on. Uh, what was your background again? You Can I be who? What was your background? Just oh gosh, what was your background? Stay mysterious. What was your background? Uh, my background is acolyte. Acolyte. Okay, she seems more of a religious person actually. Yeah. She seems more of a religious person, but she has this roguish kind of thing. So you could say that maybe she's a rogue. She could also be a cleric. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not so sure. In between these two. Do I see the people she's uh, spying on? Uh, you, okay, yeah, yeah, they pass through you. They're like, sorry, <laughs> friend here fucked up. And it takes him up to the, the other floor. Can I roll a uh, perception check on the dude? The guy? Yeah, the guy to know uh, his class and everything, his uh, history in uh, what to be like, what is rank and all that. Sixteen. Um, he is a soldier of these parts. They seem to be under law enforcement, uh, both of them, because they have the same sigil, which is the star, the three stars, okay. and the red banner. Um, he, yeah, he, he, he's fucked up. He's fucked up. And this fucking woman is just trying to help him out. I know he's rich, right? Uh, okay, at this point, the sixteen, right? Um, they say that they're rich. They seem to be in their uniform. So if you assume that they are guild or whatever faction they are from, are rich, then yes, they are rich. Do I know she's uh, spying on me? Um, I mean, she she found she was spying while you were talking to the drug. Uh. So you don't really know that she was spying on you, but she was. Okay. Maybe she tracks this human. Foot just let loose and was just dragging to the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor. So if uh, you're gonna give me money, it seems like you are some sort of uh, rogue of some kind. I would. How about this? If you're gonna give me money, why don't you bring me his money? Wouldn't that be fancy? No. Nice note. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna walk to my room. Okay. Fucking nonsense, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> so. I walk down and I. Is it my turn? Or? Sorry? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna. I was gonna say I'm gonna walk down and go pay. Oh, you walk down. So, so you really walk. So you walk down. So after you leave, she goes down to pay, and uh, you can see that the bartender there the just stayed inside. Like, yeah, I don't vomit. On the table, vomit on the floor. She is to clean. And then she says, Ah, yes, L- little miss. So you did not pay for your previous uh, meal. Yes, and I'm yes. truly sorry about that. Yes, do not apologize. I'm just very happy that you can. And most of these people don't even come to pay. They just leave. And then we have to kill him. <laughs> but uh, but yes, uh, thank you for this. Uh, you pass over five copper. And. Like, thank you so much for the British. And uh, I'm not sure if you were here when I was talking to that uh, human just now, but um, um, my, my wife. Fuck. Oh no! Matilda, yeah. Yeah, Matilda. Yeah, yeah Matilda. Okay. Sure. Uh, my wife Matilda will be having the morning session, so if you wake up that early, she'll have you. She'll have you covered, no problem. Morning session, I said. Yeah, she takes care of the morning session. I have to go out. Yes, yes. Okay. Have a good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Yes. Okay. I trust one. Don't scrub into a hat. Scrub the office. I 
walk away. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna come back to um, to Malachi. You go back to your room. Yeah. Open, wardrobe, bed, window. That's all you see. Very simple. Okay. Floors, wooden. Wooden. Okay. Um, can I set an alarm for my door? Do you have a spot for it? Yeah. Um, level one, right? Yeah, I think. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna attach an alarm at my door. And and my doorknob, so like if anyone tries to attempt to twist it, ah, it's an alert, right? Yeah, uh, very simple. We just have alarms, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have an alarm. So what yeah. are you, so alarm manufacturer? No, so you guys can't give us a surprise about sex, yeah. I won't, not interested. Well, the NPCs might, I don't know, it's not an NPC, like, should be. This is mine, you know, I don't know. So, you set it up, yeah. I just uh, take my time what's and the, I just set it up. What's the spell duration and spell, uh. How long does it take? Yeah. So after that you go after upstairs. After that I go upstairs and I go another floor upstairs. So you go to the next floor. Yeah, you because see the room curious. numbers is 401. 402. Four? Uh sorry, 409. Slightly 409. What is 409? 409. Oh 409. Four, I see. Four, six, four, and um. you can see the shared bathroom is bigger than your bathroom. Oh. There's actually a separation to have two baths at the same time. Two baths at the same time? Yeah. What does it mean? So it means the bath you have can only have one person. Now okay. this bath can have two people in it with separations. So you don't see each other naked. Oh, okay. Right when, the you, bath upstairs. Right, right, right when you reach the toilet, mm -hmm. you, you hear this... Um, are you going to use it or what? What is that? He says, are you going to use it or what? And then you turn behind and you can see this 8 foot head almost touching the ceiling grey skin Goliath with tattoos around back from the skull back onto the front and continues to the rest of his body is he He's an... shirtless in his towel Is he, the... <laughs> is he an orc? No, he's not an orc, he's a Goliath Goliath? He's a giant he's I look at orc. him and I step one step back Find the bus. Closes the door in front of me. I walk down. <laughs> okay, um, so what's the duration? Uh, casting time, one minute, duration one eight minute. hours. Nice. Yeah, uh, I just need a time duration? window and a s duration eight hours. Eight hours, that's fucking dope. Okay. That's wrong. Alright, alright. So it's a level one spell, yeah? Yeah. So uh, can you see the um, casting uh, semantics? SMD? SMD or something? Uh, VSM. VSM, okay, so. Um, uh, what's the components? Uh, VSM, a, a tiny bell and a piece of fine silver wire. Okay, Do I have that? so I'm, I'm gonna say that you have that. Okay. okay, I'm just gonna say that. So you take it out, you put it on the floor, you have your incantations, and you scuff them for one minute. And this yellow light from the building comes from the ceiling and attaches to your door. And you see the yellow light under this. Thing. Oh my god, no, no. Yeah, no, no. And then from the yellow, it turns blue and it flashes and then disappears. Fancy. Fancy alarm. Okay. Right, right, this moment you hear a door from the outside slam. Boom! <coughs> from the outside. Boom! <laughs> and you can still hear the commotion coming from now, but from the downstairs, but you seem to have quiet down mm. from where you were, how you were the mm. other time. Um, okay. At this point, you are close the door in front of your face, what looks like to do. So, wait, what? The door closed in front of you, the toilet. In front of the toilet, the door's closed. I stare at the door for like two seconds. I just walk down the stairs and I go to... Wait... Do I know which room he is in? Um, no. No, you don't. But you know where your room is? Because huh. he didn't stop to see where his room was. Okay. Hmm. He has skills. I'm just gonna say that. He has skills. <laughs> and stuff. Oh, you're gonna come in and steal my money. So. No, I won't. Right. I'm and so rich. Oh, well, yeah. The perfect yeah. love story. Oh. <laughs> I steal your money. Oh, your money. I took silver for good or Uh. I use. I think that. Wait, what's Fey Ancestry again? 
Then it's actually means uh, you have advantage of the, against being charmed and you cannot be put to sleep. Ah, oh, okay. As opposed to this guy, if someone sleeps him, he sleeps instantly. So you don't even get to have the saving throw to sleep. You just sleep. Bruh, the boy is sleeping. Okay. I'm sleeping. Okay. Group. No. I think I'm just I'm just gonna the boy drops. I'm just gonna find out, try to find out where he is. But <laughs> how would you like to try to do that? Would you like to roll investigation? Yeah, okay. Cause I'm curious. I'm curious. curious. I'm gonna find out everything. Random as you asking. But I'm trying to be as less suspicious as possible. Okay. okay. So ten. Ah, oh, fuck. Ten. So you roll ten plus everything. Plus modifier. You got provision for roll. Plus two plus three. So five. Ten plus five? Fifteen. Mm. Yep. So from your investigation, you try to find out where his room was. Um you notice a little bit of um uh, of uh, some as a fade. You were touching the doorknobs as you go around the third floor. I mean the the, the, the floor above you. I you're I touching the doorknobs. Okay, okay. And about you touching this doorknob, suddenly you sense sense of magic in body Magic. It just electric electrocutes you a little bit inside. Oh. Interesting. Can I look up and see which number it is? Three zero four. Isn't that my room? Yeah, that's true. Where? Oh, sorry, 303. Three, three, he's 303. Three. I mean, you, you see that the room number is 303. Oh. Your room is right next to it. Oh, okay. And. What do you do? You just have this seeking suspicion that. Hmm, a spell was cast here, but. I don't know who's in it. Battle. <laughs> I was looking for him, but is that him? Huh. Sure. I'll go with trying to open the door, but in the slightest Locked. way possible. Locked. Come on, rope! Come on, rope! Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm excited. Knock the door. <laughs> <laughs> you hear your door knock. And at this point. Love <laughs> <laughs> baby, come on! Okay, okay, so okay. at this point. Uh, were you going to sh- were you going to shower or were you just gonna sleep? No, I was just gonna sleep. Okay, so as you put your head onto the thing, tom 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 tom. <laughs> Do you want to say anything as you knock? Oh, thank you. I just keep knocking. Tom 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 do you speak common? I do not speak Morse code. <laughs> can I hear his voice from here? You can, 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 can. I walked to my room. <laughs> you walked to your room? Yeah, I walked back to my room. Because and just as you walk to your room, right? Room 302 opens. And you can see this uh, um, very buff human just in his pajamas, short pants, with st- honey stars. <laughs> Yellow color. He's very angry looking at you with his Christmas gown. Also same color as his trousers. He looks very angry looking at you as you go into your room. His hand in his hand, a uh, little teddy bear. He's very angry looking at you as you go into your room. Oh shit! He's just breathing. Hey, I'm sorry. He slams the door. He's on the door. And you hear the slam of the The whole room shakes. Oh! <laughs> I walk back to my room fast and close the door. Close the door, Tom! <laughs> I, I hear it right beside me, right? Yeah, you're very close to the No, I can just close it like softly. Yeah. Okay. I close it very softly. Okay, you close it very softly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He can't hear it. The noise from the bottom starts to fade. You know that the night's getting a little late. Um, I go to my window. I open up my window and I just oh. have a have a, a cigarette invented. Would you like one? No, no. no. Okay, okay. But uh, cigarettes <laughs> invented. I, I I'm a smoke for you. Yeah, smoke for you. So so um yeah so you take a you take one. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm just gonna ask Red. 
uh, these cigarettes, um, so you see, see, mostly tobacco has not been wrapped yet because you have to wrap it yourself. Uh, right. No. Um, certain high level and like, expensive stuff have it wrapped individually. Uh, yes. I have not wrapped it myself. Okay, so, so you have it wrapped. So you get a wrapped tobacco and you take it with you. Oh, many hits. Many hits. I let the uh, cold night breeze just hit my face okay. while I fag. Okay, uh, so at this point, uh, you close the door, you are there, with your thoughts, uh -huh. with your equipment, whatever you want to do. What would you like to do? I'm gonna just unwind and take off some stuff that I have so that I don't feel uncomfortable. Okay, so you, you're naked. No, 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 I'm not completely naked. I'm wearing like, I'm gonna change it to my common pajamas ass. Okay. Stuff. Um, but I'm gonna prepare like one shot dagger just like in my pocket, just to protect myself. And then I'm going to lock the door. Is there like a a a, a, a thing, a, a chain thing? No, you have the key. Damn it. So you lock the door with the key, and it's locked. That is as much protection as you have at this point. However, uh, the door is an open to the outside. So if you put a handle, if you put a, a stick through the door and put that uh, and put that uh, through the handle, no one can it's gonna be hard to go open. You can put a stick through. Um wait how does it work? So so if you're inside the room, it's an open door. Uh-huh. So if you put a stick through here, dun -dun, dun -dun, it's gonna be hard to open. Oh so steel or, or wooden, it's gonna be hard to open. So that's you can eat. You can see. I'm gonna say that your passive perception is enough to to know that this is possible. Okay, I'll just stick a steel thing. Okay, where do you find the steel thing for investigation? Um. Do you want oh, to roll I need to roll. Yeah, roll. Oh, okay. I'll just use a dagger. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could. Okay. Okay. I have two daggers anyway. So you put a dagger. One dagger. Yeah. And then you stuck the dagger right through. Boom! It hits the the wooden side of the door. Yeah. Okay. The door to the little, little, little. Okay. And I start to just I don't know, chill, meditate. But I'm not fully asleep, I'm just okay. like chilling. So you sit on the bed. Yeah, I'm just chilling. This bed is surprisingly comfy as you also lay your head onto the bed. It's really soft. You've never had such cotton before. It's very soft, like it just takes you, it just consumes you. Like, that's wow. strange. Like, this is a five star shit. That's what you guys do. Like, oh god. You just, you just dissolve into the, the, the cotton. But it makes no it's sense, the tavern. Exactly, exactly. So, you, 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 you both of you notice this, and it's very comfortable. Some spells so, have been So, those, those who have perception, perception of more than 12. Um, what is your wisdom score? What is your wisdom score? My wisdom is 16. 14 Modifier. plus 2 3 Modifier? 3 You? 14 plus 2 No, no. plus 2, plus 2 Okay, uh, uh -huh. that's uh -huh. I, okay. My okay. Perception. I would say that um, I would say that both of you know this also Like um, this, this cotton is magical It's magical cotton It just takes you in so okay. you sit on it And you meditate and uh, wizard, mm -hmm. you are head on the pillow. Yeah. Pillow same same consistency of cotton. Your eyes just closed by default. Just bed. Yeah. Just <laughs> okay. Bed. Okay. So it's night. Night approaches both of you. Oh my gosh. Night approaches. And. The quiet from the, the, the noise from the bottom seems to dissipate. <coughs> from a very distant. Holy shit. You hear that? And both of you automatically eyes open. Shit <laughs> And then you hear the door open. Groom very passing by your, your room. Both of the rooms. They going down the steps. Whoa. What time is it? Both of you don't know. 
but yeah. it's night out. As you look out the window, darkness is already enveloped the skies. Okay. okay. Um, Crazy woman. So this scream, where did it come from? Far okay. away. Downstairs. 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 Roll perception. You want to roll for perception as well? I see what's going on. <laughs> You don't know this, don't matter this. Damn it! You're in your room, you're okay. in your room. Okay, fine, okay, fine. 13. 14. Uh, 13 plus, plus 6 plus 2. Whoa, it's more than 20. Tick, tick, tick. 21. Okay, okay. Yeah, so with the 13, I would say that um, the sound is from coming from the downstairs, but you know from this kind of sound, it's because of the acoustics of the place. It is not from downstairs, it's from outside, but it is coming from the downstairs. With the perception of 1 and 20, I would say that um, your window catches this. And as a fate, you know that um, you sense that there's something to the left of the tavern. Okay. Okay. Is you know that it's from outside the, ta the, ta the tavern, but you don't know where. Can I... Can I sense that it's whose voice, like female voice, female. or male voice, female voice? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I get up and I head to my window and I just open it. Open. Boom. Open the sides. Um. And white skin. White skin with leather clothing come up with an axe with to his back and he takes out the axe and he goes to a room next door. And you can see next door, right? It's a shopping. It's a it's a shop store. But you can see uh, some fires, some fire coming from the inside. It's illuminating the windows, which is part of it. Mm -hmm. You see as you peer through, you see that. Okay. Now you hear it. Fire. Oh, I, I do what he does too. I you open the window. Look out the window. Out the window. And, and I saw him yeah. looking out the window. No, no, no. You would see her. Oh shit! Your room is next to him. After you are your room's after him. Okay. Mm. No, you would see her. Yeah. So you don't see him. I don't see him, I just uh, see there. So I see a dude giant dude with a battle axe. Yeah, and he's downstairs going into the room. Yeah, just approaching the room, but you do you, yeah, he's just going there with his axe. With his um large axe. Do I know if he's approaching with malicious intent? Roll inside. Inside check! 17 plus. I'll go with the same. I'm, I'm gonna ask the same thing. 23. Uh, also 21. Whoa, for real? Yeah. yeah, because I just wrote 13 again. Okay, so both of you notice this. He's just going out with bravado. He's just, just, he just wants action. And he's just going there with, like, he's just angry. <sighs> Who woke me up from my sleep kind of kind of vibe. Ah oh, yeah. shit! <laughs> Is it the same? Yeah, fucking Chiba like oh, he's going in the same shit. Is it the same dude? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. And he goes to, he reaches the door. Do you wanna see what have transpires? Yeah please. Okay, yeah, so yeah. you guys watch this. He kicks the door open. Door is not open, not broken yet. <laughs> he kicks again. So he's still kicking the door. You guys can have an action to like do something if you wanna do something. Try harder. <laughs> he's just about to kick the next one. I look to him and he and he looks back. He breathes heavily. Kicks again. Dong. Still not broken. He um, takes he takes X. Oh. He tries to go for it, but you can do something before that. Uh, how far is it? Is it? Is it? Uh... It's next door, right? Yeah, it's next, next door. door, right? Next door, but it's about five, feet, uh, ten feet, and then the 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 the, the house. The house is about forty feet. No, but no, 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 the house is about seventy feet. But the house is on fire, is it? Uh, you don't know at this point because on the outside it doesn't seem to be in fire. When the inside it seems to be crackling, some fires happening inside. <coughs> you guys can see it from the outside, yeah. I can't even see smoke, nothing. No smoke. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. What are you doing? What the hell? What's this? Chi Chi? Yeah, Chi Chi. No lah. It's uh, my stuff. His act goes oh. right into the door. 
and the door boom, shakes. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, I grab my quarter staff. I get out. My, I get, I run out the door. Right. I run straight down. The the next door is on fire, right? Uh, yes, that's as far as you know. Okay, but it's not on the outside yet. But you know that the fire starts on the inside. Uh, I have the hindsight to think that maybe the fire will spread, right? Yes. Wait. Do I do I see it? No, I don't. You know that there's fire going on in the inside, but you can't see it. You just oh. know you can see the, the sparkling from the windows and stuff. Okay. Oh. You hear the scream again. Ah. Okay, so I go to uh. And then the the, the scream is cut short. Ah. Ah. Gone. Oh shit! I run down. You run down. I'm gonna run down too. Okay. Because I don't want it to spread to my. So room. as you open the door, on the door, and you open the door, bam! You see him running as well. Yeah, I saw this human ass so guy this retard, running. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, Rita, long hairs running there. Okay, so I head, I, I head down mm-hmm. to the next door and see what's going on. Okay, he hits his axe again, down, and the door is still not open. Okay, so I see this happening in front of me now. Then he's just he looks at you guys as you approach. I take a step back. Please step aside. He lets go of his axe, his axe is stuck in the door. Uh, <laughs> can I cast a fireball onto the door? Uh, a mo- it's not attack, right? Yeah, it's uh, 1d10 fire damage. Can okay, I stop so him from doing that? Oh, wait, and I 2d10. Lock it instead? Huh? Can I stop you want him to lock with a fire thing? <laughs> no, the, the door that cannot what open. What is the one? casting time? Uh, instant. instant. Okay, you cannot. Oh. Okay, uh, what's your dexterity modifier? Plus 4. What's your dexterity modifier? Dexterity modifier plus three. Okay, so I would say that as a reaction, you are able to dash in front of him before he casts it. Do I get scorched? No, 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 no. <laughs> you are just in front of him, so you get to t- cast it if you want to. Because you found his see her, you can still. Whoa! Casting over here. I lock pick. And it opens. Roll. Oh, roll ah. Yeah, roll this your, one, 20, yeah, 20. Roll your sleight of hand plus your proficiency bonus. Uh, 10. Sleight of hand, I got, I got bonus. Wait, okay. bonus you, is plus what? Are you expertise? What? Are you expert in this? Plus 3, 13. This one got black circle as well. 30 plus 4. Plus 4. Wait, what? 10 plus 3 plus 4 is 17. Yes. What about this one, sleight of hand? Yeah, I see. Um, this one plus this one and then proficiency plus 3. So this is plus 1. Wait, what? No, no, dexterity plus 4 here. Oh. And then your proficiency are plus 3. Plus your proficiency in dexterity. Oh, okay, so 17, I guess. 17? Yeah. So, as you said, I'm casting here. She takes out um, this metal rod, very thin metal rod, and goes in. Sank! Door opens. And right when the door opens, the door stops halfway. Kunk! Falls on the ground, and the oh. whole door is open. Because he was trying to, the the, the, the Goliath that you know at this point is a Goliath has been hacking at the the, the, the wrong side of the door to get ah. it open and this is oh. and then right when the door comes down, both of you, all all three of you in fact, see the fire that's starting from the living room all the way up to the to the, the staircase that you can see right now. At this point, the Goliath. Pushes both of you out of here with his way. Wow! And you run straight into it. What do you want to do? I would say let him die. Yeah. Same. Let's watch. <laughs> so you let him. So he runs into the fire. Yeah. What happens? Do we he hear disappears anything? into the upstairs. Okay. And you now, now the smoke starts to bellow. Oh front door. my gosh. Dark smoke, and then you hear ooh, ooh, from a distance, and you can see, you can hear. Is it a fire truck? You hear <laughs> footsteps, very fast footsteps. Stopping, coming. Footsteps get louder, and you hear a burst of um, energy coming from the top of the building. Oh, <laughs> Shit. The windows break open oh. and now, now the fire is enveloped. Vroom. Now you can see the fire from the outside. The fire seems to have caught the, the top um, ceiling. 
and then the footsteps now get louder and now you can see cavalry coming coming towards all in crowns guard uniform um, red and silver and gold in emblem of a of a of a lion or a tiger I'm not sure which one they're running very fast blah, blah, blah. and then oh, 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 oh they all come towards you and they are trying to get to where you guys are do you guys want to give them space or do you guys just stand we give them space i give them space you i'm just standing there watching. okay so you walk to the side and you don't yeah and then you see the one of the guys let go of his horse his horse uh, starts to go awry he stands down you can see he's in full helmet metal there is a kind of like a spartanish um uh, yeah roman roman i would say roman uh, um, ponytail top ponytail coming down comes down he said get out of the way Please would be nice. Pushes you aside, forcefully. Make a strength saving throw. If you wanna, if you resist, if you don't resist, he pushes you. If you wanna resist, resist. Make, okay. Make I said, hey, throw. get out of here. Uh, make a what? Strength saving throw. So roll d twenty plus your strength modifier. If you're not proficient in it, don't add your proficiency modifier. Yeah. Oh wait, so just roll here, right? Yeah. Oh, that that's a that's a eleven. Eleven. All right, so that's about the time where we got interrupted by somebody who came in looking for another friend of mine. And after we saw, so we took a break here. And then after the break, I uh, started recording again and the mic got cut off. So there's only um, video footage until maybe halfway through. This was recorded quite some time ago, so what happened and what really happened is kind of unknown to me as well, but I managed, the audio came back just in time for Ricola to aptly just summarize what happened. So I'm just going to play the clip right now and then continue from there. This is Dan Hiaoi! This is Dan Hiaoi! He the guns and then he set the place on fire again! <laughs> so the place comes on fire. That's cool. Oh. So so when, when you, uh, so you see the place boom suddenly, and everyone from the outside, oh, it's not over. Get in, get in. <laughs> and you see them go in. What do you want to do at this point? You you have a chance to go in first because you are main character. Now. I would like to lose a turn oh, and uh, shake uh, my head. <laughs> <laughs> so I let them go in the back. I'm, I'm just, just doing this. Just unwavered by what you do. And he just crawls his way as he's. You can see he's bleeding out. So are you. You are bleeding out. So I'm bleeding out. He's going towards these two corpses that you assume that are lifeless. Well, the first corpse is the entity, right? They call. Yep. And you can see the entity is actually now dark skin, uh, brown, uh, orange hair. He's crawling towards it, right? Okay, so now he's just crawling towards the body, right? I get in between him. Okay. And then I... I, I fire. I hold my head up towards his face and I go... And uh, threaten to uh, fire a fireball straight at his face. He doesn't explain. He doesn't explain? He doesn't. No, no, you, do you explain? Yeah, I just like hold up my hand and I say... Um... I better get a full explanation for what woke me up tonight. But I'm gonna blow a hole through your face. <coughs> to get these bodies out of this place right now. I, then I'll kill him. I willingly help him out. Okay, so you, you help him out then. <coughs> and he, he, he gets to the bodies. And he's like, you want to help me out here? Okay, I uh, carry one of the bodies. So one of the bodies is the black chart body that you're not sure of this, its uh, origins. Okay, I get that one. So you help him out the, the, the place. Mm -hmm. And as you, you see this pole coming, and as you exit, you can see a few people uh, 
at helping you escort the bodies and then one of them take the bodies out of the sand, one of the bodies take out, out of the sand. Uh. And you can see the Goliath fall. Wait, does he fall? He walks down the stairs. Oh. Staggerly. Okay. And you also find it hard to come down the stairs. The, the, the three steps which is coming from the this uh, building. Mm -hmm. I'm squatting down, sitting on the stone doing this. And you see this. And I saw that. The both of you see each other. And the Goliath turns white, goes towards the tavern. You see the you see, you both see this as the Goliath mm -hmm. And both of you are now there looking at each other. And then all of them start to put out the fire that you caused. Some of the guards come up to you guys and say, Are you safe? Is everything okay? Are you hurt? Do I look okay? Um, takes out a bandage and starts wrapping it around your body. And you I'm good. Are you are you damaged? Six on eight. Six on eight. Mm -hmm. Um one of them you see um, touches your arm. Do you resist? Okay. You you go away. Is it? I'm trying to help you. You can see You can give me the bandage, I can do it myself. It's magic. Fine. Holds you. You will six. You you heal six. Six health. As for you, you will six health. You will six health. Plus six. Oh no wait. You need the minus six. Yeah. Okay. Oh, full out. Yeah. The fire has been put out in the place. The smokes, and you can see her here from a distance. Ooh. A few people. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Woo. Yeah, you hear that? You hear, woo! I'm just and gonna green, I guess. Uneasy uh, green. You hear a horse running, and it stops by the side. You can see a handlebar moustache, blonde, old individual. Ah! I assume that you are the ones that stopped this uh, and he points towards these two uh, burnt individuals and he points to the one that's dark skin one to stop this one from burning down one of the shop lots uh, I did most of the work she killed us she stole my kill yeah I just do a white eye I just roll my eyes <laughs> what a deep needs more people like this how would you like it to work for the security of work? Security? Depends, are you guys paying good? No. 20 gold a day. Huh. Regardless of jobs, that's a lot of gold. <laughs> that's a lot of gold! <laughs> a lot of gold. Hmm. I, look, uh, I look for the barbarian first. At this point, through perception. Wait, he's gone? Why? The, 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 the Goliath went to the tavern. 17. The Goliath went to the tavern. Close the doors. Close the doors. Really hot. At this point, you cannot see him, but you know that he's there. You, however, you don't know. You just see him looking white. So I don't know that the uh, Goliath is there. Your perception. Yeah. Fuck! But yeah. you see him looking towards the tavern. Okay. And then he says that. Water deep has been going through some trials and tribulations as it seems. I'm willing to give you as much as you want, but you just you need to give us some time if you require more treasure. We're not money making machines. We go through what the government gives us. Um I need to pay Okay. Tom okay. Cuts. You've spoken enough. Um, I expect you to give me some time, you know, because uh, we, did, we did just go through a lot. And I'm sure you guys are going to go through a lot as well. Just as you said, a slinkily figure appears from behind this uh, armored and very 
bold and fat. Actually, fat individual. It's like, <laughs> you can expect our travelers here to exhibit some measly pieces of gold. This is your first day in the job. He, uh, he, he uh, uh, triggers this, uh, this uh, armored figure. <laughs> I apologize, my associate. He doesn't understand that people of the likes of us don't just go for such. I'm sorry, likes of us, and who might you be? Ah! Barrel. I don't think I can pronounce that. Of course! Of course, it doesn't matter. You can call me B. Alright, B. I'm just gonna stare. <laughs> and I know people like you come into the water deeps for the first time. And you meet people like that. <laughs> Easily just scattered to the wind. As you know, places of other, other districts give way more gold by the day. <laughs> but I know your worth and I can see it through your eyes that you guys are in it for more than that. So, that is why my missions for you will be of a little bit more treasure. Let's put it that way. Try what? Treasure. Okay. What if that's what you're interested in. Because if you're not interested in gold, <laughs> then I have no business being here. So just say the word. Well, it depends. Does it come with interest? And by interest, I don't mean by gold. He slinks to your direction and he says that. How does thousand gold do this? I lean close to his other ear. Sounds like you're talking a lot of shit from someone with an asshole for face. <laughs> he chuckles and he says that. Perhaps you need to see my office. I don't see the office. I don't see it tangible. I don't believe what you're saying. <laughs> of course, of course. I do not expect people who do not know my reputation. Come to my office tomorrow morning and we can discuss business. The thing about this guy, this guy is a fucking stuck up. He sticks to the rules. You're suspicious. What are you, Gordon Ramsay? Bro, in such a... 20. What the fuck? Natural 20. Holy natural 20. shit! Baby, you're so hot today, man. Okay. I'm okay. Not I'm, I'm just gonna tell tell um, tell you this. Um, uh, 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 Ricola, Ricola. Ricola. Yeah. No, 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 don't. Natural twenty, you succeed by default. Yeah. Ricola. I, I even have Ricola. a ghost on inside. This guy wants what you have to offer. For it? Yeah, but you know, it don't matter, this right? You know that he has more to gain than you have to gain. If you follow his things, he will gain more than you will by default. He is a scam artist. But he is reputable. You know that he he knows people that can tell you that he is great. Hmm. So you know he has some sort of standard and you are certain that it will only benefit him if you do it. But you are also benefited too. So you can choose whether if your own benefit is worth whatever he has to lose. Hmm. Okay. Then we're doing a lot of uh, trailer parks, but like Middle Ages version. Three, two trailer parks. Elven, Elven. Yeah, Elven. that's right, that's right. I've been doing so. a lot. Finally found someone that's the same as that. Really, uh, they even make some good like, shit, right? Fucking. Um, Barcor, it's called Barcor on YouTube. So I get what? Barcor on YouTube. Barcor. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Barcor on YouTube. Don't uh, don't cancel my shit. <laughs> Gangster Elso, shit. Okay, so he says this and said, "You can come to my office tomorrow morning uh, if that interests you." But uh, don't listen to this guy. Stuck up, follows the rules. It's nothing but shit. He'll give you more than you get to gain. Huh? 
He would, he would, no, he would take more than you have gain. I look to the uh, other guy's direction. The guy's like... You, uh, from a perce passive perception of 30, I would say that you can see that he, he knows he cannot butt in. He knows that he, he cannot gain your trust anymore at this point. He's just like... He's ready to leave at this point. Is there honor in your work? Is there honor in gold? Ever? Is there any honor in getting gold that there's no honor in it? I don't know. Yes. Yes. There is honor in getting gold and not of the otherwise. But it depends on the honor that you use it. Individualistic. I'll, I'll tell you what, B. Mr. B, right? Yes. Okay. I do not know how to pronounce your full name. Maybe I'll never pronounce your full name. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. For me, what I know is that if a person that comes to me and starts offering 1,000 gold a day, does not seem like a trustworthy person. And you seem to belittle the people around you. I don't know if working with you will be of interest. Yeah. My office is always open for the both of you. I beat you with you. I have places to be. Please, go to the places you need to be. And he doesn't even, like, he, he gives you an eye and he winks. And he makes his leave. And then the, the, guys, the, the guy in the armor. So, what did he Who was he? Uh, we'll see him tomorrow morning. No, I just hold him. No, no, no. Uh, can I roll for intimidation? Do uh, you want to intimidate him or do you want to persuade him? Wait. Intimidation is charisma. Persuasion is... Is it fuck you or is it a... Uh, no, I'll, go go with persuasion. I'll go with persuasion. Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> uh, you have an action at this point. Do you want to do anything as... Like this whole interaction Ooh. is going on, you have an action to do. 16? Uh... Okay. I'll go with... Shit, I don't know what to do. I think I'm just gonna... Eavesdrop on what he's gonna do. Good, roll perception. <coughs> uh, insight if you want to know about their human intent. If you want to know about intent. Perception if you want to know what they do. Perception then. 19. Plus it all. Uh, plus what? I think that's a 6 plus your um, position. Position modifier. Prisma plus 2. But if you are double proficient in it, it means you're an expert in it. What? You're plus 6 instead of 3. So 21? Wait, your percep you're doing my perception? My perception is. 4 times 2. My oh. perception times 2. Oh, so 2 so plus 3 is 6. Plus 6. Plus so 6. 5 plus. Plus your wisdom modifier. Plus 27. Fuck, dude. That's why rogues are OP. That's why rogues are not supposed to be in game. Rogues! I'm so gay! Okay. Nah. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay, so okay. Um, um. So you drag him in and try to pursue him with the... the with a 16. 16, okay. Um, he's like... Squad 2, move up. And then the uh, infantry starts to go up and he... He breaks away from your, your from your hold and he says that. Barrels and investigator. He there's a lot of shady stuff that he's been doing, but he's been doing good work to get me out. It is the reason why Waterdeep is such an corrupt. Because he let it run random. You know what they say. People in the industry and in the government tend to get a little bit rowdy and do things outside from their jurisdiction. It's nothing and I cannot I I have no power. There's nothing you can do. He sighs. You can see him getting. You don't even have to roll inside. You know that he's very troubled by this. I can't do it. Huh? But I did not expect. <laughs> I 
you want to do this is it. You will just be walking through a track. He expects travelers like you to think that you have power over him and it is wrong. Right now, the mission that I have for you is outside from what the Pharaoh needs. Well, maybe through these missions, we can stop Pharaoh and what he does. And then he pushes, he, he passes you both pieces of paper. Parchment. Uh, yeah. Parchment says in common. Um, I need I need to see this too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I didn't write this part. Evernaska. The ribs here. Evernaska is here. Where's this place? Evernaska is where he's been frequenting. But he stopped going for the past two weeks. Okay. Yes. Why? Why are you My people so? has come back. But only half of them has come back. What information about strange things they have seen. Dragons. Um, creatures with tentacles. Deers with mouths that can eat entire armies. It's never been the same since we know this information. I've been there myself, but I've seen nothing of such sorts. We've been investigating to the best of our intent, but... Belor, uh, Berol seemed to have his hold on the place. If we can get to know what he's done with the place, maybe we can get to the bottom of what he's trying to do. Or water deep. That is my duty. Fuck whatever happens outside this place. But if you can do this, you might save the whole affair. Mm. I'm talking out of my ass at this point. I apologize. No, no, there's nothing to apologize. He, he brushes his, his uh, metal uh, coif. I, I, I just see both of you as this light. We used to have a light like you guys. They used to be warriors of our points. They have soon left. They have recently left. That's not great. <laughs> I don't expect you to risk your life for this, but if you can come back with any information, that would be more than I can ask for. And I can offer you more gold than I can offer. You just say the word. Depending on what you come back with, I can offer you a thousand gold. What would you offer? But as it holds right now, I can offer both of you 800 gold each. With any information that you can come back with. And if it's any less or any more than I can, I can fathom. I will adjust accordingly. I don't have much, but I want to protect the people of what you That is my duty. <clears throat> you are not the only people that I've asked. Many people have went and never come back. Tomorrow morning, think about it. And then he's like, he bows. And you can see it, um, his gruff um, stature as his Handlebar moustache blonde man has dropped from his strong man and now he's very humble. He seems to have seen you guys and seen your capabilities. Nods. And he nods and goes off on his horse. You can see the, the house has been, is right now being, uh, trying to be dismantled by a few halflings, a few tieflings. He rides off on his horse. 
on the piece of parchment that he gave you. That says uh, Everest Cup. Um, you can see there is a bottom address that leads you north of Waterdeep. And it is the stronghold deep. That's the address of uh, where he wants us to meet tomorrow morning? Yes, stronghold deep is where his people are. Is it a bit further from? No, water deep. It's in water deep. It's still in the yeah, okay. still in water deep. Okay. Anything with the deep behind is far away. Uh, I look to her. At this point, it's about mid, way mid, past me. And you can just smell burnt wood, burnt flesh. As both you are bloody, but you are not. You can see him. Blood just running down his neck, running down his clothes. It's not even great clothes, but he's down quite a lot. Okay. But he's trying to keep her. You see her pristine, not a drop of blood. Nah. Okay. But with the passive pressure on Tatina, you see that she's where she's where. Are you going tomorrow? Maybe most of the world. <laughs> and I walk off. The words the Devon. Which is called the watering hole. Watering hole, yeah. Sorry, I was just testing you out. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, so she goes she goes towards the watering hole. Which the Goliath has been on the way to so. yeah. I just walk into the tavern as well. As you walk, what's your charisma score at this point? Um, same to you, uh, what's your charisma modifier? Mine is plus 3. You? Uh, plus 2. Plus 2. Mm. You come through the door and you can see a half elf woman in yellow skirt, white top. Kind of revealing top as a as a human. And she immediately grabs your attention and says, Oh! She makes a twirl and then she touches your right shoulder. Do you resist at this point? And she's uh, just trying to like, trying to talk to you at this point. Well, I, I take a step back. Right? And she says, um, Oh my! Strong hero. <laughs> What a great person to be with. And she traces the your name all the way down to your chest muscle. Technically he does this, like this. Yeah. Uh, so very slowly, very oh, oh. slowly. Like yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. And she okay. pushes it away. I, I gently pick up her hand and... Um, she resists. Rope strength. Check. Smack the shit out of her. Nine. One. Ten. Ten? Okay. It's um, six, bro. No, okay. The, the dot thing means. The dot should be on top, right? Top, bottom. Oh, the dot is bottom, ah? Nah, qua. Six. Rolling it wrong the whole time, ah? Okay, then seven. Um, the strength seems to encumber you because she pushes you by the corner of the room where the halfling was. Okay. She corners you there. And she says that, I think you need some relaxation. <laughs> and she bites the bottom of <laughs> I think you need to take a step back before I blow your brains out. As you say this, she's like, Sorry. and you follow suit behind. I'm sorry, what? You follow behind, right? Are you the first one to enter? No, I I, I entered first. first. Yeah, yeah, like first. we were at the we were at outside, and then he asked me, "Are you coming?" And oh, okay. after that, okay. I said, "So, uh, so as you see this happen, do you stop to re um, reply or help or re react?" Oh, okay. I go to the 
I go to the prostitute <laughs> and I say just go for it. He hooks up with women every day. She bites about them. Huh? She bites about them. What? He bites what? She bites about them. I said she's desperate. And she bites the bottom of the even harder. Wait, you said I'm lesbian? Yeah. Even harder? How about this guy? How about I find a new heaven? How about you find a new heaven? And then at the, at the side you hear. They don't want, don't want to be fucked! What's wrong <laughs> with that? And you see, and you can see she, she starts to. This is half an open girl. <sighs> These bitches really, they're just finding business. I apologize. If you need to go to your bedroom, please go. Yep, okay. Then you can see that it's tired though. Go, please go, please go. Would you like a round before we go? On uh, the house, on the house, this on, is me. On the house? On yeah, the yeah, house. yeah, on the yes. house. Yes, please. Okay, come over, come over. Selena, you're fired. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I'm saying that. You can tell Matilda whatever she wants to say, okay? You are a bitch, okay? You come in here, you fuck my patrons. What do you want, huh? A, a, uh, fucking uh, STD, huh? <laughs> she leaves. Wow. I apologize. She goes to the back. And you can see full foam on small glasses. Is it? This one's... Uh, this one's a little bit... A little bit hard on the throat, but um, not you're not uh, driving. <laughs> you're not driving, so you're good. I don't drive. Is anything wrong with you? I am uh, not in the best shape, as you can see. Oh, uh, oh, 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 I see. Oh. I'm here! Any healers in the house? You have a healer? And we don't, but I'm just like announcing it. No, oh, that's great. Here, point, drink some more beer so that I can worsen your stuff. Are you hurt any G point? I am being no. fuck. attacked passive aggressively by this elf that is being very bitchy right now. Ah! Uh, potion of healing. I know it's expensive, but uh, this one is on the house. Uh, actually, we don't get much friendly travelers around here. A lot of travelers punch me in the face if, if one is it obvious. Potion. Is it obvious? Uh, no, not at all. Ah. Ravishing as always. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've only met you today. Yes. Yes. The draw woman. Oh. Ah, Big you. handful. Yes. She Sorry. came in two weeks ago with the with the group. Oh. oh. The group. Terrible. The group was terrible. I had to I didn't, they didn't even pay. I'm sure the company we had heard in it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Go easy on that. That's a hard stuff. Oh. Hard stuff. I can taste it. It's crazy. Same. Nothing for you, Mrs. Nothing for the uh, passive aggressive elf, please. Ah, don't say that. I've met a lot of great uh, elves in my, my, my time. Were well, they passive aggressive? Um, who, which isn't? Can you stop interrupting? He's asking me a question. I'm sorry, uh, Miss High Elf. Anyway. Your Highness. Lemon like, not juice? Your highness. Huh? Lemon juice? Lemon juice, of course. Spit in it. Uh, when he snaps his finger, a glass from the from the counter book comes over as if it was ready for you. Cool. And you can see that a blue energy lifts from its place. Ooh, it's that's cute. I apologize if it's not fresh. I mean, um, our lines have gotten bad. This is the only fresh one that we have. It is what it is, isn't it? We use lime for a lot of our uh, drinks over here. You know, like you know some high elves that come through this place. Amazing, high quality stuff. So this is the last one we have. I apologize if it's not up to par. I can change it to lime juice if you, if if you. Don't oh no 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 no! This is lime juice, but this is the last of the lime juice. Oh. Yeah, this is the last of the lime. The lime I, said, I said lemon, but it's okay. Cool, oh, I'll okay. get lime. <laughs> oh, do you want lime? Lemon? Nah, nah, it's okay. I'll get lime. But I I heard lime. Um, I I apologize if it's my fault. Oh, no no I, I I if you want lime I can get it. He takes the <laughs> thing for you. Lemon lemon is it? Ah yeah. Oh, okay okay okay. Put it by the side. And says that. It's fine. Address address get that that fucking lemon juice in it. 
And then he's like, oh yes, uh, I put, yes, yes, yes. He runs to the back. You have to apologize, you have to forgive me, uh, old man. Oh, okay. Uh, the ears, yeah, the ears yeah. get a little bit uh, gazoink, as they say. <laughs> okay, you're still not as old as this one. He doesn't look that old. He Looks is, he's like young. Like, I am like, young, strong, and very, very, very. As I, as I assume. As, as I assume. No, but old people, they, get, they, they have the most knowledge. Of course. Yeah, and the right. youngest, they're like the stupidest. <laughs> stupidest? They're the stupidest, oh. I would say so. Oh, why would you say that? I don't know. You can't tell he's an idiot? I can tell that someone's in his stupid motherfucker. Ah. He's probably sitting right beside me. Oh, ah. really? Ah, I, I can't help but notice, but you seem to be adopting the accent that I've been presenting to you. Are you uh, mocking yes. me? No, no, I need to know this. No, no, no <laughs> I'm not trying Ah, no. Ah. I'm just trying to start the conversation. Ah, you know, you know. But, but, uh, but. So I am not taken offended. Oh, Everybody no, no. does this. I am just starting a camaraderie. If you want something like that. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, any drinks that you want right now, right now, on the house. Oh good, okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't care if it's past midnight. Fuck Matilda, whatever the fuck she wants to do. Gun, I don't give a fuck. No, I'm good. I, I cannot stand As long as we can go. have this conversation, everything on the drinks in our house. But don't tell this to your friends. Ah, don't tell this to your friends. Yeah, I can't help but notice. Uh, forgive me for being uh, front, uh, high elf, praise be. But um, your majesty, half elves don't really come to this depths of water deep. I'm an elf, not a half elf. No, 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 high elf. High elf. Yeah. No oh. High elves come. So I apologize if. It's too much, let me know. If it's too much to ask, uh, I will I respect your decision. It's okay. I came here. I love stories, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that laugh. I love laughing. Okay. I can't. Don't do that. Don't do your own head. Oh, no, I'm just being tired. No. You hear the white the bass is playing? Yeah, yeah. There's some Snoop Dogg. Mm-hmm. Yes, no but double OG. Uh, by the way, uh, I'll continue with your story. If I say another word, you'll yawn again. No, no, I won't. I'll, I'll just increase drink. his, I don't know, rent or something if he yawns again. Promise me. I'll give him an extra shot in his next drink. Sure. I, I would def- I'm, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna yawn. Do you want to? Do you want an extra shot in your drink? Okay, I pretend he's poor. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind. It's so hard to drink, bro. Yeah, it's really hard. It's so drink. hard to drink. How much you have left? <gasps> what the? It's insane. You smell. Just smell it. Just smell it. Oh, holy! Crazy, man. I apologize, um, Bombuk. Bombuk. It's it's the talk of the town. The what? family. Uh, terrible family, 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 but they give good coin. How can I refuse? <laughs> Wait, who's Bombak? Uh, Bombak, uh, the people who have gotten the brew. Uh, they have a big brew, um, a little bit uh, west of here. I don't drink, so... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Continue with your story. I'm quite interested in a high elf coming here. I do not fancy my old life. Why not? You have everything with you. Everything. The Feywild Vite. Having everything with me is not what I want. I just... It she makes me lose my identity. Do I know that he's writing it down on a piece of paper? Um, roll perception. 15. Yeah, you know. You know. Yeah, Wait, 15 you know. or 5? You know, 15. You know. Uh, hey. no. Can I inside? No, 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 you know. I know. No, oh, can you, I, you can know I inside, inside check? Like, what? Check inside. That's wrong. What? Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I'm gonna say this to you. He's taking notes because he's very interested in the high elf's life. That's all you know. Okay. Yeah. Natural one! Nice. Okay. What does your family think about this? Yeah, that was more with family. 
The honor. Stop me if I'm going too far. Yeah, Your Majesty. I despise my family. Can we not talk about it? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Of course, of course. Let us not talk about it. Let's talk a little bit about our human friend over here. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. There's nothing you want to know about. Unless you want to know a little bit about me. Ah, hey. uh, where do you get those packs from? Oh, okay. Are you guys ready for a little bit of story? What's packs? Packs? The muscle, the shape. The shape. Oh, so so in arm, south of here. Arm, in arm. Oh, in arm there was a there was a competition that they had for the strongest person and they asked to leave a Torsk. Do you know what a Torsk is? No, what is a Torsk? A Torsk is a huge creature with tusks coming out from its mouth. Mm-hmm. It is kind of like an elephant but if you gave it steroids. So it's an elephant on oh, steroids. steroids. It's great. The elephant? Yes. So half ox, half ox has failed in this mission. Torsk are terrible, okay? But let's be let, let's be happy that this Torsk is dead, okay? Oh, but that's we, great! We have to leave the Torsk, okay? Yes. So that was the mission. I went up Did for my leave? first one and I failed. Look at me. Who am I? I cannot leave a Torsk. But then, that was one day. Because I, I, I go every year for summer solstice for this festival. Summer solstice, please. Please note it down in your notes. Summer solstice, please. Every summer solstice you need to come to this festival. What's in summer arm. Solstice? Summer solstice. Oh. Every time they have task lifting competitions, I will join and I always fail. But then today, the task. The task was like he was from Africa. He did not eat shit. He was so light. But, and the people that were going into this shit, they were weak. And for the first time, I lifted the Torsk. And he even rolled a natural 20. I hold it up with one arm. All the, the riches went to me. That is why the watering hole exists. Uh, at least uh, I took over it. But like, that is a story for another time. The bottom line is, I managed to leave a Torsk and ever since then I've been building up my muscles just to lift any Torsk that I can see. I've been doing some cow tipping, but that's different. Ah, but I've been overstepping. I seem to be talking a lot. It's crazy. But what are the traditions in your place? Uh, I don't think I know much about uh, high elves. Where you from? Where you from, by the way? Where am I from? <laughs> you from? Where do you want to be from? Where do you uh, want to be I'll from? I'll be from South. Uh. South. Yeah. So Arm is very close to the, very close to the South. This is Arm. Okay. Is there like a, a university for like uh, for high ma- for for like the okay. uh, for for the arts? I put that at Commune. Where's Commune? Commune right here. Okay, is there a city nearby? Commerce City is uh the worst the worst fucking city that is. <laughs> the worst? The worst. The worst, uh. Oh no. Uh Tilburton. 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 How's that? Uh T I L V R V E R T O N. T I L Tilburton. It's like Silverton but Tilburton. Oh uh, okay. Oh uh, okay, cool. Do you guys have more water? What the fuck you finish it? Yeah, finish very fast. Oh, uh, I can, I can. Where's my water? I saw you. The <laughs> uh, the back fridge. Uh-huh. Take any of the glass bottles. Glass bottles? Mini, you can glass drink bottles, them. Glass bottles, yeah. Okay. But only because I say so. If your friends come over, they cannot have the same kind of shit. Oh my god! Wow. Thanks. Go baby, get your. B R B. B R B. Thirty seconds. Okay. 32 years old, I need to know after you left your home at 18 There has been like a fucking 8 year 18 years? 18 years? Yeah uh, 32 ma Yeah 32, so, so that's uh, 14 years? About four, yeah about 14 years So what happened between the 14 years? 
Uh, I wouldn't say I left at 18, I would say I left at 20, 22, 23 then. Okay Like I was so studying at years. university 10 years uh, I would say around 10 years um, First of all, I'm trying to run away from my past and my reputation of like being kicked out of the university for uh, studying arts that were forbidden Okay, so they, they, they rejected you? No, not rejected, they like suspended me and shit lah So I'm, sh- I'm trying to run away from that reputation Because uh, Oh you <laughs> <laughs> And um, Along my journeys I've collected A few uh, Wait, I wrote down here So my ideals actually I wrote down here I'm in search of death and the meaning of life And um Especially in this uh, uh, fantasy world, there are a lot of in, uh, interpretations of what happens to you after death. And I have uh, only dabbled in the magic of like uh, finding a way to uh, cross Same. the boundaries between life and death. Then I would say that you are a necromancer. Who is a necromancer? Oh, that's cool. Nice. Infinite water. No, 1.5 liters of water. Infinite water. Okay, baby. Actually, I'm so sorry. I kind of feel like I want to pee. Yeah, yeah. Please no, no, no. Make yourself at home. We have another 45 minutes before we... Come. Oh, no. Oh. No, no, no. Don't worry, don't worry. We, we, we got time, we got time. Because okay. the, the session's almost over. Already. Oh, no. So fast. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we still got time. Yeah. Because I want to roleplay this. Um, I need to know a little bit more about you. Okay, you are being happy. Let's go to the toilet. I would say that you're, you delve into a little bit of necromancy, but also into a little bit of. Um. Dunamancy. Because Dunamancy is about the universe. Okay. And, uh, I would I... say between this time, you know that it is a very well kept secret. Mm. East of you. Very much east of you. But you got the word that Watley has a few dudes, so it's closer to you. It's close, it was the closest one, as, we, as, a, as if to go to take a 30, 60 day travel all the way east, right? So rather really than going to a one day travel north or south, right? Then I, I came here and the library just told me now, fuck off. Yes. Hmm. The names that pop up are the disciples of the word. Uh, the disciples of the free word and the cobalt soul. Does the cobalt soul ring a bell for Ryan? Fishy? No. Oh, okay, never mind. Why was that? Oh, because the cobalt soul is the one that Matthew Master is running. Oh! Yeah. Disciple of the word is mine. Free word is mine. Of the free word. No, it's not mine, it's not, it's not mine. It's uh, Wizard Cobalt Ghost. Soul. I apologize. It's not mine, it's not mine, I apologize. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's uh that's what that's uh, my character's been yeah. doing. The military that they gave you was the arm military. The arm military has um, access to the library as well. Okay. The kingdom of water the kingdom of uh, uh oh I need I need to know this so I okay. Hi. Oh, sassy is so the cute. Kaim- Kaimo Kingdom? He almost wanted to fall into the Kaimo Kingdom is also something that you've also picked upon. <coughs> Kaimo Kingdom has access to the library, but anyone outside from it doesn't have. So that's where that I should be going. And he told you that if you're part of a high guild. Okay. I think I know something. But not just that, uh, like my character's also been searching like uh, stories of uh, other necromancers or maybe other Waterdeep Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe just not Waterdeep, you know? Maybe like like those that have Throughout started uh, living in secrecy. Yeah, but they, they try to keep the tracks, but you manage to find them so. Yeah, I guess. So Because there are life and death clerics. There are 
Managed to quench your thirst then. I am sure. Okay, I need yeah. to keep my cool for my character. I, 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 uh, <sighs> yeah. It's difficult. I do apologize if I take too much of your time. Uh, I, I just enjoy such good company. Likewise. Ah, uh, uh, they bring so much greatness to my heart. Yes, it does. Yes, cheers. And yet you still charge me to silver for my rent. Ah, right now I wish I charge you less. Why would it not be on this, that, this is why the, I, the, this round's on me? That's great, that's amazing. Yes. How about another round? I'm just kidding, I don't want to push I your buttons. I will give you another round! I don't want to push ah. your buttons. I do not want to push your buttons. Ah, my buttons are always ready to be pushed. Especially by such great people like you. As, as long as you don't punch me in the face like the other group that came in, my god. They were terrible. Why ones. would they punch you in the face? Tiefling, they came in here punching me. What? Where? Where did they go? Yeah, I still have to bruise to prove it. Oh, oh, I thought... Uh, I don't see it, I don't see it. Nothing. Ah, I am bright of skin. I am red of skin. It is hard to tell. What time is it right now? What? What time is it right now? Uh, it looks like the room. Maybe about 3... 3... Well... Let's go to rest. Of course, of course. If you need to go, please do. Um, these rounds, I will uh, do it the next night. If you are here, because I, I know travelers don't stay that long. We, we shall see. Okay, very well. Um, I'll still pay you for this time. Oh uh, no 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 no! He pushes the gold side. Uh, silver side. This one's on me. Fuck what Matilda says. <laughs> we got a lot of money from travelers from outside this place, so. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you guys. You don't need this. Okay. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make sure you tell me Tilda what I told you. Four plus? Yes! Four plus. Sock plus. <laughs> four plus. Sock plus. Yeah. You still haven't told me what it means. Full coverage. This is now the Dwarven language and you know you speak Dwarven. Mm -hmm. Four plus means full coverage. That's crazy. The hospitality is insane. Thank you. Ah, not many, not a lot of times I meet people like you. Last time was 20 years ago in uh, my time in uh, the, the high winds north of here. Uh, yeah, high ice. Wow. Uh, people here smoke weed too. High eyes, high eyes. If you need to take your rest, please do. I am. Uh, I think we, we should all be going to bed soon. Yes, I need to just close up in this place. Look at yeah. this. There's a lot of fucking Okay, over here. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Do not uh, mention it. Thank you. Uh, I guess I'll be seeing you if we do see you yes. tomorrow. Yes. Uh, I get up from my seat and I just walk. Why well, do you gotta be so stuck? Great! Alright, thank you. <laughs> so both of you leave to your rooms. My alarm is still in Tigra. Yeah. Uh eight hours, right? Yeah. Still in time. There's another five hours to go. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. So at this point both of you go to your rooms. Um do you wanna say anything to each other as you go up together? You have like maybe five seconds. I'm in front of him, like, I think because I always leave first for some stupid reason. So I just go to my room. I watch him. Why? What were you doing? I'm in my room. You doing anything? Hitting anything? What's your emotions? Dude, I just fought a fucking fire beast mon and three woman. I'm bleeding. I just had a double shot of beer. Okay. Feeling pretty shitty. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go to sleep. Make sure you don't yawn when I see you tomorrow. Bank. I just closed the door. Okay. Will they use some fine sleep? I'll just. I don't know. Meditate? Meditate. Oh, yeah, you meditate. I. When I get some good sleep. Okay. So you lay awake. 
You're into the magical cotton thing. And you fall asleep. Roll me perception check. Room what? Perception check. Why? Because you're elf and you have your semi-conscious. Shit. Eight. Plus. Perception. Perception Ooh. double. Double. So six plus eight plus. Perception wisdom plus two. Plus two. Sixteen. Still get As you are going through your um, meditation, mm-hmm. I would say that you notice there were noises coming from the upstairs. Uh huh. Shuffling. But you I notice this, but you, you are in your meditation, so you cannot break from it. Okay. If you break from it, then you lose the long rest. I see. Okay, so if a uh, uh, wizard um, make it, take a long rest, take a long rest, so you let well. all of your. Your spells for you, you wake up first. You open your eyes. You can see the the sky is dark, still dark out, but you can see this orange and pinkish light start to peak as the sun, sun light is about to break. Mm-hmm. And right now it's quiet as fuck as your eyes open. Shuffling from upstairs are dissipated. There's no longer any more sun. Hmm, okay. You finished your long rest. Do you want to do anything at this point? Hmm. You can continue to rest because you're still a creature of the plane, your material plane. Is my stuff like restored to full? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll get up and walk to the bath upstairs. Okay, wait. Uh, is anybody now, right now, below maximum HP? I mean maximum HP. So we replenish, but yeah, we replenish. But you need to roll your hit dice to see whether you replenish. What's your HP right now? Uh, just now it was I think was it twenty three. What's your maximum? Thirty three. Okay, you're you're done. You? I'm thirty three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you you wake up instantly. I just wake up peacefully, <laughs> and then I just change into something okay. And I just walk to upstairs so upstairs. I can use the bath, yeah. Oh, uh, the good bath. The bigger bath. Yes, so you yeah. can use it. And right now you use it and no one gives a fuck. You can use it with you. Nice, amazing. Hot, hot water. Hot water, yeah, yeah. This is great. It steams up the place. Yeah, oh, it's a great time. before I leave the room, I lock the room. Lock. Lock how, how? Love. I bring my key to the bath, but I make yeah, sure yeah, I put yeah, it I'm somewhere sure. dry. Yes, you got it, you got it. Yeah, so, you, so no one comes in. You take your bath, how long do you take your bath for? Um, now? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. <laughs> so you soak for 20 minutes, you get up. And as you come out the bath with your robes, you see, you, you see someone from the top come up from the room tree or two. And you can see blonde uh, ears pointed. And you can see it's Alvin clothes. Something similar to where you were born from. Oh my gosh. It takes a side eye at you. And he's walking up. Wait, he walks up to she. use the bath. She walks up to use the bath. No, no, no. no wait, she doesn't. Oh, just, I walk she, down. She just, yeah, takes the keys. Oh, okay. Cool. She doesn't lock the door. Hi, hi, baby. Yeah, okay. She walks down. Very daintily, very slowly. Not even caring. Not a caring of work. Okay. I walk back to my room. Downstairs? I walk back to my room and get changed. Into a 304. Okay. Hey! No, no, no. No, 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 no. You change. Don't eat this. Yes, I change. Into the left. And what do I do? That, that, that's it? Yeah, I just change. Is this action now? Huh? I yeah. just... No, no, just change. What do you want to do? Just tell me what you want to oh, do. Oh, mm-hmm. and after that, I... I rest on bed a little longer, I guess. 
because there's nothing much to do. I'm just gonna wait until the time is up and I go to that place in the morning. Oh no way! I think maybe I should just go down to the lounge area so that I can wait for no eat. I swear I can wait for this guy. Okay, so you go down to the no 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 no. You go down to the makan area. No 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 no. Yeah, he's don't eat it. Don't eat it. I'm scared he eat it. Um. Yeah, I just go down to the area where 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 the guy serves beer and stuff. I just sit there and just wait. Okay, so right now it's empty. Yeah. But as you now that you can see it properly, you can see the half elf at the bar just waiting in the same ropes that you recognize. She went down the rope. She didn't change. No, no, in her oh, high she, elf rope. High elf rope. Okay. So elves have their own rope. Up straight, just very good posture. Mm hmm. Sitting up at the bar. Okay. And you can see a human a lady, quite big size as well, bosoms almost erupting out from her, her cleavage of the, the, the top that she's wearing. Splatters a, a platter in front of her. Get it, girl! I got that view. Ah! Anything you like? Huh? Is that Matilda? Huh, okay. I say the Toshi Woshi thing. Say it. What was it? Toshi Woshi Fabula. Wait. What? Wait, wait. Fort Blah. Speak up. Is it Fort Blah? Fort Blah? <laughs> Is that correct? Did you ask her? I know Dorvish, but I forgot this. Yeah, okay, I would say that you, you know it. Yeah, for blah. Uh-huh. Yeah, for blah. So you're one of the people that uh that uh, Albert fucked, huh? Fuck. <laughs> don't have to be coy with it. I don't know that he goes around. I apologize, uh That's Kashmir. That's cash what? That's Kashmir. I see. Kashmir goes around. It doesn't matter. So do you want a uh, good blah treatment? It's okay. okay. All good. Suit yourself. Uh, no, not suit yourself. More like... All good. Yes or no? Anything you like. Ah, you high elves are all the same. <laughs> she goes back to the kitchen. At this point, you wake up. Yeah. Okay. And you have finished your long rest. Okay. And you can see the sun peeking from your window. Yes. Well, you close the window, but it seems to be peeking into the blind. Yeah. yeah. And you wake up. Slowly inch my head over and sit down the bed. And I try to recollect my memories of like what happened last night. Right as you do this, you hear two steps. Outside your door. Outside your door. I rush out. In hopes that it is the uh, Goliath guy. You open the door? It is the human man. It is a human man? Yeah. Human man. Do I remember it? Roll perception. Eighteen. Eighteen? He was part of the bar, he was part of the one of the tables that were occupied. And you can see him like, like focused eyes just walking past your door. Ah, uh, okay. He's not the guy from his No, name. long hair. He's putting on his helmet at this point and he seems to be Crown's guy at this point. Yeah, I'm back. Right. Alright, this happens. Um, you see him go through the door, go to go down the door, go down the steps of the stairs. And you see the the, the Goliath. The, 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 the. Oh, where? At the staircase. Oh. Yeah. Is he coming up? Huh? He's coming up, right? No, he's going down. Oh. I I I I go to it. Oh shit. In your just the garments that you wear. Uh, I didn't change. Okay. 
then he goes up, he will see, he see you like You're gonna thank me, you don't mention Thank you? You didn't do anything I'm about to leave And I didn't get the explanation that I was told I did save your life Very well You're quite persuasive right here and you are not human? He scoffs. I see the answers on your face. Are you ready? Okay. And then he grabs your hand before you leave and he says, I don't do this. Okay? Let's go. Do this? Yeah. And then he goes down. Okay. Um, I enter my room. I disarm my alarm, I get my bag, uh, I get my stuff. Oh, your equipment? Yeah, my equipment. And you go down. Some stuff, and I go downstairs. Okay, so you as a, you say have a long rest, so I would say that at this point, um, if you have prepared spells, discard them. Uh, you get to use any spells that you want. But regarding uh, using the spell slots you have, Cantrips, I would say that you have any cantrips, but you can only really mean limited to four at a time. Okay? Four at a time? Four at a time, as in like, because right now, I, I will assume that it's gonna take some time for you to, to like, prepare your spells. Yeah, for so, sure. So, pick four that you really want to use, I mean, in general, and then just go run with it. At this point, you're already downstairs, right? Mm -hmm. you see, the Goliath. Hand. Already semi semi healed, still painful, still a scab. And he runs, walks down the door, walks down the steps. Don't, 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 very heavy the steps. This is huge. I walk towards him. And you don't have to because he's walking towards you. Oh. And he's like, he gives you the. I... This is right next to you. Oh, great! Oh. Perfect! And then the, the woman comes and says, What do you want? It's like, I'll have a nail. <laughs> and it's like, Eleven. That's it! It's like, if you can stop being that fucking rude, yeah! And then it's like, Yeah! Fucking good night, fucking giants. Like, Fuck you too. And he looks at you. Can you believe this woman? <laughs> you? A lemonade? Yo. <laughs> and then he's like, Bacon and eggs! If you can do it! Bitch. Hey. Do you care to explain what it was from yesterday? He looks at you with his eyes. This is what I know. Huh? You were stabbing that door yesterday, looking for that woman. Look, I was just doing what I was trained to do, okay? Trained to do? <laughs> he leans back on his Marshall. Then why the fuck are you in Pharaoh, huh? Dude. Oh, sorry, why the fuck are you in Waterdeep, huh? You answer my question first because I asked first. At this point, um, Malaka, Malaka, yeah. um, you gather yourself, go back down, fully packed, and you see um, this Goliath and this uh, person that you interacted with the last time. We are doing shit. So that. You know, high elves don't have a high lifespan when they come to the water. What bullshit. So, I put a bargain. And then the, his ale comes. Here's your ale! <laughs> get another cup. And then I get another ale. You do shots. I don't drink. Oh. 
So if you don't do shots, no. That means you're a pussy. And I have no business talking to pussies like you. You have no idea what the people that we we are being through. Duh, so much disrespect. I asked you a question and you're like, Okay. I'm good. Alright, alright. Drink and then you like, if you don't drink, I'm gonna you don't need to answer you. You stuff. hear a few tables from me. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, that's talking a lot of shit. It's about high elves. You wanna take this outside? It's easy. Take you what outside? Me? Your beer? <laughs> the same noise from the, <laughs> from the side. Hey, shut the fuck up, okay? Okay. Okay. So, what do you wanna know? I asked I you, I don't need to repeat myself. Okay, and me as a DM, what do you ask? Sorry, what did I ask? <laughs> 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 I forgot! <laughs> oh, you asked me is the girl yesterday. What do you want to know from him? Oh, the... Our captain. Oh, I was gonna ask him... Uh, who is that girl? Yeah, yeah, who yeah, is yeah, that girl character, from yesterday? Who is that girl from yesterday? You think I know? You think I know? That, okay, what are you trained to do? Like you said... Oh, I'm trained to hit the door. <laughs> you, 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 you chuckle so it's like, laugh all you want. The Tiamat of Grog has trained me to always go into the hill of danger regardless of whether the danger is imminent or not. So the train of God also. <laughs> what was it? What was it? So the train of goggles have trained you. Goggle goggles? I heard train of gar- goggles. Grog. Oh. Grog. Groggles. Train of grog? No. The 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 Tiamat of Grog. Tiamat? What's Tiamat? You you don't know. The the Niamat of check. Goggles? Roll history check. Roll what? History check. What is history? History, history. check or history check? 15 mm. uh, 15 plus... Oh, sorry, Intelligence girl. plus 2 Intelligence plus 2, 17 Sheesh, I don't know how I did that Anyway yep. The Tiamat of Grog is a bunch of people who worship this specific Goliath that has went around uh, Toril and has wrecked havoc and has made a name for himself so this guy made a name for him. Huh? What? <laughs> Sorry. This guy worship him. People worship him. No, this guy worships him. This guy worships the guy who got named because he saved something. Ah, uh, okay, I got it. So he technically saved what? Saved Horil. Horil? Who's Horil? In Ah. Okay, I didn't know, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know where you said the whole world. Oh, okay. So he was trained by... by a the, bunch of people. A bunch of people. And those who worship, who worship the guy who saved the world. Ah, yes. uh, okay. Okay, that's easier to understand. Okay, so he said... He said... Come, 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 like, can you repeat the sentence that the NPC said? Okay. Um, Sorry, I, I... So, the team out of Grog is trained me uh-huh. to, to, to do, the, do what was right. To knock the door on go the different side. Into the head, go head into danger regardless of the danger. Right. At this point, you come down. I see them both and you're bickering. Arguing at this point. I just pop a cigarette in my mouth. Can I can I continue? Yeah, I slow. Yeah. So, why do you save the woman's corpse? Because it was the right thing to do. And you don't care if she was evil. I didn't think about that. That was my part. I didn't think about that. Great. You should wake up. You saved her, right? Uh, I really don't know. 
house in Vietnam and the people took her. She went out? Wait, what? Oh yeah, she, uh, the, 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 the fucking crown stuff. took her. Oh, got yeah. her? Yeah, they, they took her, so I... I, I oh. Yeah. What about the other corpse? Yeah, the corpse, I think he's dead. <laughs> when I took his body, right? Yeah, his, his hand was like pretty much on the floor. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, um, that's that. Um, but, you know, I, I do what's right. So, you, you cannot say shit that will impede me of what I need to do. He's trying to. At this point, you don't even have the role inside check. He's just trying to be the man, you know? Bravado. He's just trying to be better than you. But, you know, uh, I'm just trying to do what's right. Yeah. And then, uh, this is where I yeah, approach him behind him, and I'm like, So, what thought. What doing what was right is bashing down a door and failing to do that even. Good job! Anyway, uh, are you ready to leave? Sure. Uh, first of all, um, you, sir, Mr. Goliath, you still haven't. Uh, so when, when you started telling me about uh, when when you were on the floor, burning, dying, you told me this person, this entity. What is her name again? She was a fire genasi. What is a fire genasi? They're plain touched. They're plain touched. Meaning the fucking fire plane has touched entities and humans and halflings and all these other races that's been on this plane and the moment they were touched by this entity, by this uh, element, they are bound by it. So they are from another they are touched by another dimension? Yes! Okay. Have you not met a fire genasi? No, obviously not. Have that's I? stupid as fuck. Just stupid as fuck. Well, that's. Well, I have now. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, uh, that's the first one. One, one zero. That's the one. That's the first one. Everything. Of course, of course, of course. And uh, you've had your fair share of fire, fire genasis. So, why or thrice? Yeah. Bacon and eggs, please. All right. And then you can you can shout to the kitchen if you need anything. Do you want to have your breakfast first or do you want to go? What about you? Give me that stir. Are you hungry or are you not? I... One more. I'll make it three. Yeah, then you see the kitchen. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Is that... What are you all doing? Like... Honestly. Mustn't ask too many questions. <laughs> Very well. I wasn't that interested. Then why did you ask? The whole reason of asking questions is because you are interested. Are you not? Wait, who's asking? Ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. You all seem to ask a lot of questions. So it's a new right if I ask my own. Alright, fair enough. Both of you are but I, obviously not from here. <laughs> Sorry. The cat is quite a distraction. Yes, it is. I used to have a cat. My village destroyed it. Your village Why? destroyed a cat? Yes, in fire. Why? Cats are considered, um, in my tribe, um, fake creatures. Fake creatures are all destroyed. If you were an elf in my village, you would be staked and burnt on a stake. So do not go to my village. village. Yes. Do not go south. Of, do not go north of here. If you are an elf. Actually, go north of here. I mean, the high, the high, the high forest seems to have a lot of elves. But uh, ask any of those elves if they've ever met a Goliath. Them and have to live to settle them. Is there a racial disharmony among Goliaths and elves? Oh, would you like to know? Of course, I would like to. It sounds very interesting. You humans, 
we humans do not deserve that knowledge. Why do we not deserve that knowledge? Because you can read it in your fucking books, in it. So all your books tell you all the knowledge that you need to know. Do you Stupid. guys not? Are you guys not able to comprehend books, too? We just can. summarize them. We, we write them. You write them, and you let us read it. Why not you just tell me straight away? You see, straight from the author. Yeah, yeah. I like the both of you. Both of you have such a gumption. <laughs> no, I don't like the gumption. Let me be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Can we be honest with each other? My, my tribe, my tribe destroys. Any race that comes to the doorstep, <laughs> and when I came out of my tribe, I didn't realize what great people that I've met outside from my race. Humans are great. They have so much passion for what they do. Elves, elves have such. Compassion for nature. <laughs> Unlike the people from my tribe, we 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 thrive on such simple and stupid things like like a bravado and strength. <laughs> stupid. My tribe is stupid. Nobody likes to be looked down upon. That is why I escaped my tribe. My tribe has already taken me out. You so I don't care. Like, I don't care about them. I'm out here looking for my own purpose. So what are you, or both of you, looking for? Huh? Don't answer this to me. You answer this to fucking Matilda. <laughs> and then Matilda comes with the bacon mix. But the katam katam katam. And then it's like. And then he says, Fatulba. And then Matilda said, So you fucked him too? I did not fuck him! <laughs> oh my god. Screw you! <laughs> and then she chuckles and she goes back. Pop, fuck him. Best be hurrying on your foes. You want to be furry? And then Matilda comes through with a piece of pumpkin. I'm not sure you are interested, but they giving out go for adventurers, which is not my part. And she just throws the piece of paper to you, to you, to or she hits the Goliath in the face. Ah! <laughs> yeah, what does he say? Um, the piece of parchment says 500 gold each to those who can take the head of the troll. Lose and troll, troll mountain in arm, south of you. Hmm, okay. Side quest. Yeah, side quest. Side quest. Okay, cool troll. Okay, I'm done with my breakfast. Shall we? All right, uh, Mr. Goliath. Um, may I get? How may I address you? Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Okay. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Hey, nice to meet you, gone, gone. See you around. Bye. I just <laughs> I walk home. Okay. I walk with him. Go, 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 go. Uh, little cute girl. I guess he let the cat away. Okay, you go. But actually I didn't. Anyway, yeah, so I just let the cat away at that point. Let this one go. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, so we uh we are heading towards the 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 where did from all right? Yeah, the place I don't know. I don't fucking care. I'm just following. Okay, so um, yeah, we head to the uh, water deep from. 
strong game, huh? Yeah. Wait, how do we strong go? Holding. We walk? Strong holding. Tata? Okay. Yeah, okay, we walk. Okay. So you follow him? Yeah. So what does strong holding has, has for you? Um, the... The, the, the one of the cross guard was like, he gave us that paper man, to go oh, oh, that right, to go to Stronghold Yeah, we have yeah. the right. address okay. and stuff So yeah. you get to Stronghold And you can see Stronghold um, a little west of this town You go through a little bit, right now it's still morning right? So you can see a lot of shops being set up mm-hmm. um, There is a minstrel playing the song ah, Can I interest you in... Um, some magical devices. It's not cheap, but it's magical. And you know how magical man stuff come through. It's okay, thank you very much. Ah, oh, but please, but please, I insist. And I insist please. you stop. Okay, okay, very well. What about you, Mrs? Walk me through. Yeah, you see him. Very well, just know that east of here, Gilmore's is always ready for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Goes away, and you guys continue to struggle. Wait, what? I said walk me through, as in like, what do you have? <laughs> oh, walk me through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I said. Oh well, we have many um, magical devices for you as travelers. Um, just come in. Just come in. Come in. Yeah, just I need come to come in. in. Ah, that's too far away. I gotta go. Okay, okay, yes, east of here, Gilmore's is always open for you. Okay, great, goodbye. So as you reach Stronghold Deep, it is a sh- big establishment. Our uh, Crown's Guard are totally the place 24-7. Mm-hmm. And you approach. I approach you. you. Yeah, so both of you approach and one of the guards are oh, 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 oh. I have official business here. I you pull out the parchment of okay. paper. And he looks at the, 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 the task for Everesca. Okay. Um, he sniffs it. He takes it from your hand and sniffs it. Creepy. And then he said, he opens the doors. Can I have my paper back? As you come into this place, there's a counter. There's a few tables on the side. You can see a few people just being interrogated. You see a half orc in front of all these humans. Yeah, more, okay, this establishment is entirely uh, governed by humans. Mm. So right now you're in the establishment, what would you like to do? What you like to do? Well, so, is there a reception center? There's a counter. Yeah, I go straight there. Hi, uh, there was this dude, he had a weird tenderbomb moustache. Um, do you know whereabouts, where, whereabouts is he? I have an appointment? Yes, I can see the appearance. Uh, Takes it, puts it to the side, and you can see the, the assistant takes the, the thing, stuff that you can take. Puts it, nods, and it looks at you. Third room from the right, to the right, and he points to the side. Can we just go? Everyone's like that, just go look at you in the side eye. I think they're gonna stare at me more. Yeah, they look at you more. Yeah, but. Like... Yeah, yeah, great. Look at me. And I'm just gonna go through. Someone's playing this inside the stronghold with a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, open it. You, you get to the door. And you open it. And you can see this person um, signing papers. And you can see a floating blue long ear tail in the, uh, creature. Floating, almost looks like a floating rabbit with big eyes. So weird. Yeah, and then you, at the moment you open the door, the creature notices you and hides behind this um, big, brutal person. It's like, ah! So you came quite early, I would might say. Yeah, I mean, it's like, give me a few minutes and I will be done with this. Oh well, I should have paper away, and you can see the. <laughs> Blue creature grabs, grabs the papers, hands it to the next room. It says that I didn't expect you to be going out so soon, coming here so soon. So you guys are tied to uh, do things early, yeah? 
I want to get business over and ready with, right? <laughs> yes, so of I'm course. here. We are here to discuss business. Is there a, is there a seat in front of me? Uh, there's two seats in front of me. Yeah. I grab one of the seats. Okay. So the there's one seat in front of you as well. Do you take I it? I take it. Yeah, yeah, I sit down. Both of you sit down. Okay. And then he... And he does... And then you can... The blue creature comes take the whole entire paper. Take that away. So weird. Okay. Alright. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it's not uh, it's not easy in this in this part, yeah? Yeah, it would seem so. Yeah, it's uh, the world. Uh, yeah. In here? Yeah, yeah Evreska, right? Uh, Evreska? Yeah. Uh, right, right. Yeah. Where the fuck is it? Is it there? Yeah. Can't see my power. It's kind of small, oh shit. Yeah. Uh oh. Can't see it, man. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Over the rainbow. Okay, okay, yeah. Just, just say it's here, yeah. Or Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck it, fuck it, okay. Somewhere there. So. If you can get any clues from Evreska. Um. And then he brings out a file, he gives it to you. Okay. So basically, if you go through the file, Evereska, um, um, what's that? Um, they've given us uh, notices that um, they've seen strange creatures coming off from the, from the hole that has been dug by the miners. It's been closed, but it keeps getting opened again. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, despite their magical efforts. The cold pole keeps getting open and open and open, sometimes getting bigger sometimes. Oh. And right now the, the town is desolate. It's been abandoned. Because of this it's mining it's issue. Because no, because of this magical uh entity Creature. That keep yeah, keeping open keeping it open. So people either run away or either they get yeah, no, so attacked. everyone's left the ring. Oh everyone's left. left the ring. Is there someone attacked or something? No one attacked. Oh, everyone just scared, just run away. Yeah, yeah so, so you can you can talk to this, you can ask these questions as uh, as my character. As oh, uh, the NPC. I see. What do the creatures look like? Many ships. Takes many ships. Many ships. But most of them are winged, red skin. <laughs> we call them kobolds, but I've never seen kobolds such as that. So you know that kobolds are these like dog like creatures with skin, holding weapons. But not many kobolds are winged. Strange. Yes, I would think. Just this one species, or there are more? There are more. Other species. Yes. So but no one can ever tell. Everyone come away with different stories. But the same thing that people keep telling is winged creatures with wings. Okay. Lion head. Lion head, tail, tail of a, of, a, of a snake. Okay. Back foot of a horse. Wings of a griffin. Fangs of a vampire. Many people have different interpretations of what this creature is. So oh. we uh, we assume that it's a shape shift of such such sort. I see. Okay. But it's very strong. We've had armies down there. Does it possess magical powers? Or oh, very much so. I see. Is there... Are there any weaknesses of this creature? It seems to don't like fire. Does it not like fire? It's not like fire. I see. It looks like devil itself. Saying, Perhaps. saying red and stuff. Perhaps. Okay. But I, I apologize if I don't have that much information for you. That's why if you can come back with any more information, I'll pay you accordingly. If you can come back with the head, that's when the payment gets more. You can eliminate the source of this. It depends how, how much you talk. 
It also depends if you get whether the source you trust of it, us. If you can delete the source of it, 1,000 gold per person? I value my head a lot more than 1,000 gold. That is why this mission is not for your average. If you don't want this, I, ex I respect your decision. Walk away and I will respect your decision. I'll take it though. How about this? I'll cut you a deal. She just said she agreed. Well, is she going alone? If you're not following, then I'm going alone. Well, if she's going alone, if I don't get what I want. Proceed. 1,000 gold, 500 as a deposit, and also entrance to the uh, Cerebu library. Hmm. Free entrance. Since we're going together, I want what he wants to. He wants Cerebu library suddenly? I can, I can make that happen. You can make that happen? I can make that happen. But 500 as a deposit sounds a little bit too much as people that I do not haven't never seen this. You have seen what we can do. We have saved a fire from spreading. Very well. Proposition. Yes. <laughs> With advantage. Woo. Because she's next to you. Wait, do I only roll? No, 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 no. Okay, do you want to roll? roll? If you roll, you, 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 you take the highest number anyway. Roll. Uh, I'll help, I guess. Oh. 20 for persuasion. If she can. I have to roll, I'm going to do roll. 15? Nah, roll, roll one more time. No, 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 oh, no. no. She don't get advantage. Oh, okay. 15. 15. Your position. She's assisting. Plus 2. Which one higher? 15, 7. Uh, I'm higher. She's 17. Okay. He says. Cerebral um, lab library will be at your disposal. Great. 500 gold up front for the each of you. But I must insist that you do not get to leave the place with the mission unresolved if you don't be giving me by 500 back. Unless the mission is successful. Okay. Sure. So let's say that we fail to eliminate the source and we bring you back more information. Is that a circle? This one? Then I will take 300 back from you from the 500 there. 200. Oh, okay. And I still have full access to the cerebral library. Why are you asking so much? I'm doing most of the work here. You didn't do anything here. I didn't do anything here. Okay. And then you ended in the fireplace. Oh, I can most of the work here. I can accept that. Alright. Oh yes, we have a deal. And then he um, takes a stone from the door. Mm. So, contact, contact us once you have completed the mission. What do we do with this stone? Throw it to your place? Just talk to me. Hello. <laughs> and you hear the hello come to your head. This be be wary with stone. the mich with this stone. Do you have another stone? Please, I don't trust this guy. How you about you hold on to it then? Right. Use the stone sparingly. There's not much words you can spend this before it crumbles. How many words? Twenty-five. What? Twenty-five. Great. Keep the rock. With twenty-five. It's called sending stone. Limit. A what? Condescending stone. Oh. Condescending stone. <laughs> Condescending stone will be. Yo, Wizard of the Coast. Condescending stone. Make that happen. <laughs> Condescending stone. <laughs> Condescending stone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, run it in your inventory. Oh, sorry. I keep farting, man. Like, I don't know. Inventory? Yeah, just run it here somewhere. So, when do I see my gold? And do I get access to the library now? Do I, what do I do? Do I just go there and say, hey? You get the access to the library after you finish. But right now, 500, the 500 gold here. Ha ha. And it goes up. 
Thank you. Sweet. Now I can spend money. Five hundred gold. How much? How much gold did I originally have? Ah, fifteen. Oh, I had ten only. GP, right? Yeah, GP. Okay, plus ten. Yeah, yes, GP. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Um. We will depart when and uh, ready for our mission when, uh, when, 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 when we do. I would hope so. I mean, there's no deadline. Great. So you exit. Um. Stronghold deep. <coughs> yeah. You exit stronghold deep, and right now you are free to do whatever you want. How about that troll mission? What? What do you mean? That was that troll that Matilda told us about. Five hundred gold each. Do you think that troll's gonna help us on this main mission? No, I meant like we're gonna go and kill that fucking troll. What are you gonna do? What? What? What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> what? 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 No, wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean? No, no, earlier in the tablet. I know, I know, I know about the troll mission. Yeah. It's just more like. Yo, we just accepted this mission and now we're gonna kill the troll. Yeah. Dude, right? I'm... Because you just got that person and you're like, yeah, let's go do the other quest! Yeah. Hell? Well, would you prefer we focus on the main mission at hand? Look, I don't like being stuck here with you just as much as you don't like being stuck here with me. I'd say let's just go get as much money as we can since we're both stuck together. Be on our way. Does that sound great to you? Fine. Great. So, do you want to go to Everesca now or do you just want to sit back, relax, or you want to do the troll mission? Where's the troll mission again? I don't know, let's get back to the tavern. They said it was a troll on the third. So the... where yeah. we're at is north? Uh, is it? A little bit north. Troll mission is... Um, so much, way more south. So south? Right here, that troll mountains here. Whoa, that's kind of far. That's really uh, far. Wait, wait. So high, only two. Is right here. Oh, that's too far. That's too far. Yeah, and then. Uh. Oh no. Where's the other place again? Everest. Everest. Oh no. The fuck is Everest? Everest. Oh. Okay. Very, very much nearer. Yeah, I think like that we do Everest. We'll do the Everest time, first love at Everest. Okay. Alright. So you guys decided to take a job of Everest time. We do to um, investigate um, whatever um, things that the this uh, large human um, fighter from Waterdeep has asked you to do with promises of gold far more than 500 gold um, you guys travel um, west of Waterdeep With whatever you have in your bag, not um, willing to get anything from Waterdeep. And that's where we end the session. Good shit, baby. Good shit, baby. Nice one. Nice one. Good shit. Okay, okay. First one, first session. Good session. Good session. Nice one. Interesting, nice. interesting, interesting. Yeah, interesting. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much for <laughs> staying tuned to this shit. I've been your host, MCWay. 
Um, I'm not sure when we can uh, continue this shit, but it's been fun. Like, I'm not a very good DM. Uh, I'm just having fun. He's the best. My friends. Um, but uh, if you guys enjoy this shit, don't forget to uh, share this shit to your friends. Uh, don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitch, uh, YouTube, and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I had a lot of fun, so. Uh, like, I've been craving this shit. Let's be honest. Like, I, I'm, I'm horny for this shit. So, um, yeah. Be safe. Take care. Don't forget to love each other. And. Is it Friday yet? <laughs> Critical roll shit, innit?